All right, we are live from the Tools and Tactics studios. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Man, I'm doing pretty good. How about everyone else in the chat? How's everyone doing out there? I hope we're all living the dream. Man, we uh we got the new M12 kit. It's new to me. It's the newest one they got. It's been out for what a month now or something. Uh, yeah, it's been out for a few minutes. Whole thing. I haven't haven't pulled the trigger on anything yet, metaphorically and uh, physically. So we're gonna <laughs> find these out. We're gonna find out how these things operate. Um, one of the biggest things whenever these first came out, the M12s, the first generation, the biggest question was, can they replace the larger drills? And the answer was no. I've had I've had the first gen, I've had the second gen. Uh, I've given them away, or they're in a drawer, or I think I think I gave the last one away to somebody. He was super happy to get it too. But um, and I, I was helping somebody uh, cut a cut a butcher block countertop, and I was I was cutting out their sink, and the guy was there helping him. I didn't even know the guy, and before he left the house, I was like, "Hey man, take this with you," because. I never, <laughs> it doesn't get any use, you know, for me, he was happy to get it. Yeah. Um, but we are going to see if this gen three is capable and worthy of staying in my tool pouch, essentially. Uh, Cause frankly, not very much is as far as I'm concerned. I'm, I'm pretty picky. I know, I know you love your uh, subcompact. I why do. Tell, why don't you tell us about that? What's, what's your thought on 12 volt versus well the, the sorry the vast majority of the people that run the the 12 volt stuff do so to save themselves on a little bit of weight uh, and they don't need as much power for me i prefer running the subcompacts because subcompact versus 12 volt almost identical weight within a few ounces of one another uh, i get more power than i do from a 12 volt tool i get to use the exact same battery platform as i do with my really powerful tools that i'll take to the job site right that's, that's a good point so i'm i'm literally carrying one battery platform with me for everything uh, i'm able to um, move between the two freely and i still have four and i will say this that probably 90 95 percent of the jobs that i'm running into or that i would run into a subcompact tool get the job done yeah whereas um i i would be sacrificing more if i were to take a 12 volt or at least any of the 12 volt tools that i have and doing the torque testing uh the the that, that I've been doing, uh, I know with a six amp hour battery, and I know you're going to talk about the si battery size. <laughs> yeah. Um, with a six amp hour, uh, hour battery on the Milwaukee, I can get 16.1 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've been doing those uh, torque videos too, man. That's yeah. been working out for you pretty good, huh? Uh, yeah. I, I can get more torque out of the, the subcompact with a smaller battery. So to yeah. me, it just makes a lot more sense. I mean, like I, I, the, the nice thing about those torque testing videos is that it's literally just data. There's no, like, there's no skewing to it. It is what it is. Everything goes in speed one, everything gets put in drill mode. Uh, and I, I test them with multiple batteries, multiple times. I put the best combination out. Yeah. So people get to see what the tools can do uh, in the in the best light possible. We got, dude, we got six inches six in the back of that tool. Mm. And uh, I mean, your hand would engulf it, but it's, it's really small, man. I'm excited to use it. You know what my favorite part about this right now already, the feel of it, is that I don't feel like the belt clip is going to destroy me. If oh, something right. goes down and then these belt clips seem like they're flat on the top. Yeah. And it's little details like that, man. When you do a lot of repetitive tasks, um, well, you, really wanna, you really want to, you really want to be familiarized with 
what your tool can do when you're not expecting it to, you know, torque or whatever it's going to do. You really yeah. want to, you really want to know where's your hands going to wind up while you're using something. If for some reason there's a bolt tighter than you expected or uh, you hit a knot, whatever happens. Um, and and yeah. that's another, that's another point in favor of the subcompacts because the subcompacts typically the grip and everything is the exact same as a regular uh, 18 or 20 volt tool I, and scott m do you mean direct tools or do you mean tools direct because those are two separate places tools direct. direct tools yeah what's up scott m how's everyone doing tonight looks like we got quite a few people in here we uh, had 17 a minute ago i, I did this last time uh i don't know how this works if you need oh, me yeah. to i will send you the receipt um if you want to email me it's uh conductive wood at gmail.com because i like electricity and i like wood wood so uh <laughs> this is the code 5b2c57 5b2c57 i i've never used this i don't care about it i don't register anything um the only thing i've ever registered is my flex tools i got a lifetime warranty made sense to me if i had some rigid i'd probably warranty those too uh, typically I expect me to break things before. And, and here's the thing, man. I use my tools so rough that I feel like by the Gosh. time I'm done using them, uh, I, I don't deserve a warranty. So, uh, we, we, we've been trying to break the flex tools a little bit different than the way I use them. I've been extremely using the other tools trying to break them. But, uh, I mean, man, I'm on a scissor lift and I need an extra couple of inches just to reach because the rails won't let me go up higher. I'll stack my jewels on top of each other and make like a freaking foot stool. Okay. Like I, I get it done and, and if the tools and I've got them, dude, they're, they're, they're now a foot stool. It's that I, I made, I'd love to tell you that that's the only time in your life you said you needed a few extra inches. Um, <laughs> right after you were talking about wood and liking it. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What, I, I mean, dang. Uh, so JV true, Joshua Wilson and Scott M all in the house and hello. Appreciate y'all being here. Thank you so much. Uh, as you guys could probably tell, uh, from the sound of me, I am still not, uh, healthy, but I'm, I'm at least recovering, but I, I have started to send out some of our giveaway prizes. So we'll be uh, I'll be happy to to tell that. Uh, I, I just in full transparency, if you're a member and you won, I already sent your stuff out. Yeah. Test your tools. Drop them off a scissor lift in a video. <laughs> <laughs> That's an OSHA violation. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, test your tools. Drop them on your boss from a scissor lift. That's yeah. not an OSHA violation. Oh man, That's I learned just a, a long happy time accident. ago. I learned a long, oh, dude, look how small this is. This, Again, this is, something you're used to saying. Yeah. <laughs> now, this one has a uh, aftermarket boot on it, but you can see, holy moly, man. Um, once, once you start getting on this level of power, half an inch is huge. Like, the fact that they can make something even that much shorter, it's, it's, not, it's not a whole heck of a lot shorter, but it is shorter. Yeah. And, and it is smaller. And that is very impressive. So what's the weight there? The weight I'd have to take this boot off. I can do that here in a second. Um, my first reaction would be that uh, this one is lighter <laughs> the Gen three, yeah. but this one does have a boot on it and it's, you know, solid rubber. So uh, it's hard to say, but um, you can see, so. see the belt clip design. So the gen one belt clip design was just absolutely you see that, right? Yes, I do see that. That is six and impressive. a quarter for a subcompact. <laughs> that is very impressive. Um, see the belt design? So this is Gen 2, and then you got Gen 3 straight. Oh, Look that is that. much better. It's, it, it is nice. Um, Here, here's my problem with the Gen 2. I like the Gen 2, so Milwaukee fanboys melt down in a minute. Uh, I'm about to criticize it. The belt clip on the M12, only for right-handed people. If you tried to put it for a lefty, it was all weird. 
you can't do it. So let me let me verify this. Yes, I can verify this. Check this out. This is pretty cool. You see that hole right there? Yeah. That looks like it might be a three sixteenths. Maybe, maybe. No, probably smaller than that. Okay. It's a small hole. Check this out. That's that's probably three sixteenths. Oh, that's, that does look a little more be, substantial. This is probably something else. I don't know off the top of my head, guys, but uh, you can definitely see that your belt clip is going to have a better time, as they never do on these. I've never had a good belt clip on an M12, um, and this is why, because they, they started to pivot. The screw ultimately was too small. Um, Brandon, no amount of Loctite. Yeah, Brandon, he hasn't started using uh, the tools yet, so no, they're not bad yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Hey, check this out before I forget. Test, look, look test your this. scissor lift and drop it on your tools. <laughs> I, I really, really like this. Check, check out the color. So this this is like solid jet black from Milwaukee. Look at okay. this gray. Can you see that difference on camera? Uh, not really, no. No, dude, it's beautiful though. It's it's actually like a charcoal kind of black. You can see on the bottom of this battery, see where it's more black? And then yeah. Okay, so right here. See that that black blackness right yeah. there? See the gray? You can see it when I do that. Yeah. Yeah, it really, does. Really, really cool. So, so you you know instantly just by looking down at it, this is the new high output 2.5. Nice. And this is going to bring me to my next point. So this, hey, this uh, is what this video is all about. And that is, do since, these things have enough torque to replace an 18 volt? for an electrician and then you can apply other things we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of lags and things like that but ever since i've had the gen one the gen two and now the gen three i've had trouble using a hole saw into um thicker gauge metal uh what would be a four square cover thickness um three sixteenths i believe yeah and so what i've got here i'm gonna switch this camera hey i just want you to know I'm over here measuring my bone right now. <laughs> I did before. I'm gonna, no I'm gonna no joking. It. It's 16 inches. Yeah. Uh, and it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. All right. This is five inches. This impact is five inches to the back. Yeah. Um, and six and a half, six and three quarters. To the bottom any pretty, anybody pretty good stuff man i'm pretty excited about this really anyone uh, notice a weird shape a weird thing about this bone <laughs> <laughs> it right or left? <laughs> is that what you're getting at? <laughs> it's got an eye in it <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> all I right was, so I gotta be um, using that to make fun of Makita the, guys. By the the way. other thing here, it, <coughs> it just feels better. <coughs> the buttons seem like they're more flush, and they're not. They're not hugging the top. I actually, I don't like using this, even with the boot. Um, this, this, this feels a lot more comfortable. There's something different back here that I'm noticing. You, you might just have to go to the store hey, and grab You know, one. if you took Jonathan's comment down, we could actually see what you're talking about. My bad, bro. Just click on it again. Press on your scissor lift. Bet it's metric. That's what she said. Have you complained in the past about the hole in the clips on mental batteries getting weak? Do you? You have complained. Yeah. I don't know. I hope they're stronger. Every time I drop one of these tools, and I drop tools often, it feels like the battery flies out, and I break one of these little clips off. And it doesn't happen enough for probably Milwaukee to do something about it, but, man, I think I've broken about five in my lifetime, and that's that's five too many. I'll, I'll be honest. I, like, I only use the M12. I, actually, th this is what I did to fix Never that. Mind. I only use the M12 belt clips to hang it on the wall that's it so, shaka gillis i don't know why he keeps letting you back in here <laughs> these are uh vanabong i got four for like 30 bucks did you it's say vanabong vanavon oh okay oh, oh, I was I, right smoking okay, the wacky tobacco 
Van on. Okay. I've, I've switched out my Milwaukee batteries uh, with just the guts. That way I could keep using my Milwaukee's and I didn't have to worry about catching fire on the job site because I don't trust aftermarket batteries. But the shells do work because you are one screw away from having a good time. Um, Always. Always just one screw away from having a good time. Yeah, you can see here. Did the Where HO the come hole? in your kit? Is Joshua Wilson? The answer is no. no. He actually no, paid no. for it separately. I sure did. I put it down. Now it's gone forever, guys. Cool. All right. So let's see, let's get back over here. Um, squirrel. You moved Jonathan's comment to put Mark's longer comment up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I. No one ever accused him of being smart. Hey. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, or handsome. Handsomely smart. Or tall. Or knowledgeable. <laughs> All right. This is what we have. We actually have a GE <clears throat> panel cover. Now, what I did earlier, where where's my hand? Here's my hand. Okay. Yeah. What I did earlier was we actually checked it to a four square box and I verified the thickness of this metal. And I'll show you when we cut a slug out here in a second that uh, this is the question, okay? When I use a drill, you, and I'm not done talking to you it, guys. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to buy extra batteries just to have them for the novelty. If what you have works, then use those. That's that's my advice to you. So, so there's one thing, and I was talking to a couple of electricians today and verifying the same thing. Whenever I drill a hole into metal, a lot of people will say, you know, obviously you're going to go slow and you don't want to burn up your bit and things like that. When I, when I use a hole saw, I always leave it in the highest speed. And I go about that much. And what you do, you actually put all your weight down and you throttle it yourself. If you were in high torque mode one speed one you would uh you would have a bad time if this thing got in a bind it would it would completely jack you up so for me it's a lot safer to be in speed three where the drill can actually um sense that it's using too much power and shut itself down when when you're drilling through metal and things like that so the way i've always you know drilled holes was a really really strong drill in speed three or two that way the drill has enough torque to get what you want to do and you don't have to set it into high torque and i confirmed that with a couple electricians and i didn't i didn't lead him into the question i just said hey what speed do you use your drill and and verbatim three of them said they looked at me and they said well i used it in high speed but but i kind of throttle the trigger and i was yeah. like yeah exactly that's that's how i drill too so I don't, I, I don't know if it's like uh you know uh communication without speaking like ants or no I can't I I don't really recall seeing any professional like really ever take their drills out of the highest speed yeah like, I I never I know years in the field and I never played with the transmission one time I always no, said drill mode yeah. and I was done yep me too so back to my point would be. I, I need a drill that's capable of staying in high speed, but also allows me to put 200 pounds down on it and maintain 600 to 1200 RPMs. That makes sense. So yeah. Gen 1 couldn't do it. Gen 2 couldn't do it. Now we got Gen 3. That's the question tonight. Let's see. Among and, other things. Uh, Jay Taylor, hello. Want to acknowledge you. Thank you for being here. And Jonathan Turner said, I dropped my M12 impact off a four to five story scaffold. Ding dong on the bars. Battery <laughs> shot out. Boot came off. Still works though. And nice. Milwaukee makes a high, high quality tool. They really do. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Um, what I'm going to do, we're going to get warmed up. It's been, it's been quite a bit before I drilled a hole. We got a couple of hole saws here. We got How a long? inch and three eighths. So conduit. this would be for a one inch conduit. We have an inch and one eighth. This is an inch and three eighths. 
we have an inch and one eighth, which is good for three quarter conduit. And then seven eighths is your half inch conduit. And that'd be like your trade sizes. How so, long it really takes to comment down off the screen so we can um, see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to leave it up. Do you think flex will ever break into the 12 volt world? I hope so. I personally don't. I, I don't really, be. really don't because yeah. the, there's yeah. two players right now that I see. You could say four because Makita and Bosch both have 12 volt lines. Makita's got a more expansive line than Bosch or DeWalt. But DeWalt's 12 volt offerings lately are superior. And Milwaukee has just the most expansive lineup. I really would say if you're trying to break into that 12 volt line, you're catching hell. I'd prefer them to go into a smaller 24 volt lineup and really go into more of a subcompact line. That's what I'd like to see Flex do. So I thought I had a video here, but apparently it's not a video. It's just a picture. That's cool. This is, uh, you can barely see the, yeah, you can barely see the tail end of that. That's a four, 40, 40 for that. Mm -hmm. That's a seven eighths, an inch and an eighth, and a inch and three eighths bit from Milwaukee. Uh, yeah. The other day, and by the day, I mean about a month or two ago, um, they still might be, I don't know. These were $3 each. These are a Vanti. Yeah, and they work just fine. I've I've abused them, and um, they hold up pretty nicely. This is Dude. seven eighths. Do you, you really need to try the Bosch? I don't know. These were three dollars though. Oh well, I'm just yeah. saying you really need to try. I don't know, no doubt. The Bosch, but right. These were three dollars. Yeah. So we're gonna do a little comparison here, and then these are supposed to go in your impact, so we'll treat them as such. But uh, we're gonna be drilling a couple of holes in the metal, so let's let's right. get on with that. I like it, and. Uh, yeah, Josh, I'm, I'm in agreement with you. I think DeWalt and Milwaukee are the only two I would concentrate on in that 12 volt line. And a true subcompact is going to, it really will do what he's asking of these 12 volt tools to do. Right. Yeah, there's there's no doubt that uh, we're asking a little bit much. So I've already marked my studs because essentially we have the, uh, if you guys missed the other live stream and the video, I think it's coming out tonight or something. These are, um, I don't even remember what they're called, but essentially they're bit collets uh, and they hold your bits and uh, they are pretty cool. Again, I agree with you, Joshua. They are a bit overpriced. I don't know about overhyped. I, the shockwave bits to me aren't anything special. But Let's go ahead and do a three quarter hole. All for the glory. Hey, you, you know what? Um, I, <laughs> Actually, I, want see the, I want to see the one inch hole because that's going to be the most trouble. So. And that's the 998 with the power detect, or the power stack battery on there. Yeah. It, it, it'll do it. I'm not too worried about it. So we're going to go right here. We can't see it. Down. I'm panning it down. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm panning it down. And centering it. There we go. All right. Make sure we're not in hammer. Here we go. You could just take me off the screen. I can show you a trick so that doesn't happen, so you don't break your pallet tip if you're not experienced. And that would be. Really? That's interesting, Scott. Yeah, Josh, you got what I was saying. That would be with a washer. Uh-huh. So you'd want to make sure that it is the size of your hole saw, which this one barely is, but it'll get the job done. And that way when you go through, what happens is your teeth just spin on the actual washer instead of digging into the metal. What, what I actually prefer to do, honestly, is to take my quarter inch pilot point. And you can say what you want about me putting a channel lock on this. Um, I, I have wrenched on these and beaten them with a hammer to get them off all my life. Uh, if the tool doesn't last, I can't help it. That's, that's just what I've always done. I know it's probably not best for it, but uh, yeah. 
So there's one. We're gonna we're gonna set up this hole now right here. And so that's about the speed that I want to go. You might hear me speed up a little bit more, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell on what you're gonna see. So hey Scott, were you trying it in reverse? Was I trying or to go in forward? Reverse? Just now? No. Oh, okay. Here we he go. said uh, the 12 volt DeWalt impact would not remove mower blade nuts. I think mower blades are in reverse thread. I can't remember off the top oh, of my head, I but I think All they're right. reverse thread. Let's get to this. In case you're wondering, I'll grab this bit right now on the live stream to show you how not hot that is. Um, you see people burning these things up. I've personally done over 50 holes with a three-quarter bit. No, sorry, 50 holes in stainless steel with a half-inch bit uh, standard with black oxide on it. Not not carbide, though. You know which ones I'm talking about, the Linux. Yeah. And I've done over 200 holes with a bit like this doing cans mm -hmm. and panel layout. So um, that's that's more or less how you do it. Let's switch drills real quick so we can just get a good baseline of what we're expecting to see before we try the, uh, the Milwaukee here. And I think I do want to back in this up. because this might get Hey, me. Renegades, glad to have you here. Brandon said it's so much easier with two prongs to lock the hole saw. I agree. Sorry, I can't hear you. I was just agreeing with uh, Brandon. What's that? The majority of them are reverse. Yeah, I, I, I have a hard time remembering some of that stuff. Here we go with the, this is the Gen 3 Milwaukee, because as you know, um, we, uh, yeah. we cook back. <coughs> the four, here we go. That's not the drill's fault. That is the Gen 3's fault. One of my favorite things about the 4 is that that is no longer an issue. But uh, yeah. it was not, I, I never had an issue with that. I've only ever had an issue with this. Oh. And I will confidently grab this slug. It's probably going to be a little bit warm. No, it's not too bad. It's it's warm, but it's not too bad. We'll grab the end of the hole saw for you guys. So you can see. I'm not wearing gloves. And, I mean, that's how you drill a hole, though. Nice and slow. And, and that's the proper speed. We can check the slug out. Slug is 103 degrees, which is pretty impressive. And the hole is 84. 85.2. Yeah, I the, like it. Uh, hole saw is 86. Whew. All right. Uh, I was agreeing with you, Brandon. I don't know if you could hear me while I was, he was vacuuming earlier. Here goes the, this is actually the Milwaukee one. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, 7 eighths Milwaukee with the spring. Mm -hmm. You'll notice the middle, the metal is a lot thinner. Um, there's going to be less heat dissipation, but it's going to cut a lot faster because it is thinner. Uh, yes. And this is a impact. So it's not spinning the whole time. It's, it's kind of doing its own thing. So. Uh, less time would mean less heat. Uh, we're going to go full bore and see how hot I can get and just give a little compare. But it is a smaller bit, too. Well, the bit's gone. That's what the spring's for. Mm -hmm. That's how those work. So you can spend $10 on a hole saw, uh, or you can spend $40 on these three, I guess. Um, so once once you own the mandrill, which comes with 
the thing that I just put down right here. So this comes with the whole saw and the bit for like, I don't know, 12 or something. And then you buy the bits. What are they? $7 now? Or you can buy the kit. You can kind of see your speed. Once you have a knockout set, you can pretty much do whatever you want with a seven eighths hole. Yeah. So just, just food for thought there. But uh, yeah, let's get to the M12 and let's see what, what it's got going on. We're going to try with the, you want to see the 1.5, the 2.0, and then up, we go up, or what, what do you want to see? Uh, hold on. I am responding to Joshua. Um, I'm providing a link. Okay. Well, a link is probably quiet, so hang on. Oh, over the maximum characters. That stunk. That what? That stunk. Oh. I, I don't know what that means. I was trying to uh, provide a link to oh, the okay. Bosch, uh, the Bosch whole saw, and it's just too long. Sorry. Here's here's a one point five with our faulty kind of battery problem here that I love so much. Um. Yeah. That's in drive. That's in reverse. This is a 2.0. This is the brand new one from today. I marked it with a little star right there. Yeah. I can feel the difference in the power when it pulls in my hand, uh, but it sounded the same. It's, it's just called the Bosch hole, by metal hole saw kit. Yeah, it feels like it has just like a touch. I got you covered. This is the high output. Let's do the four. They sound the same. But this does same have Milwaukee pitch, yeah. You can see a kind of torque in my hand. This, probably, uh, this is the 2.5. And oh man. Oh <laughs> hey, this this 2.5 fits differently. Um yeah. yeah, I don't know what's what it is about it. Just just watch it like kind of snap on there, I guess, if you will. Yeah, it's just a virgin. It uh so tight. Yeah, it, it feels really good and it's 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 harder to get out. The plastic feels different. This feels like thinner, yeah, and lighter if that makes any sense. This feels more elastic y where it will well, bounce on the back. That might add into Ed's comment here. He said uh horrible battery retaining design from Milwaukee. Yeah, I, I agree. This this um Maybe you can hear the difference. So that's me bouncing on that. I, I bet this makes a different noise. It does. Hear it? Yeah. So you it got, does sound like thicker, thicker plastic. It's different. I don't know what it is, but it's because this is a brand new battery too. So I would say it's because it's been used, but no, these are both brand new out of the factory. Uh, it just feels different. And that might, that might be why it's a different color or they just had a bad day at the mold making, but, uh, yeah, it could be that they just added in uh, more glass and to to reinforce the the fiber or or the plastics in there because you know I'm sure they did. It it, it just fits better. It does. It, it doesn't even want to come out as easy. Well, she's a good one then. Click click versus click click. Yeah, he just touched it for the very first time. Not it, but the battery for sure. <laughs> <laughs> let's go with let's go with the two because it comes with the two and it comes with the four. Okay, and we'll we'll see. So we're going with the brand new two. All right. Why don't you make yourself full screen again? Like I never did. Yeah. Yeah. That way the people can see. Hang on. How's that? It looks. Looks fine to me, I guess. I don't know. Like two dogs, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, you saw that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Didn't loosen it. It was tight. Got that on camera, right? Loosen? Yes. 
Nothing likes me. Here we go. Nice and smooth, man. That's a good looking little drill. I'll say that. So you can do it. So that was a complete cutout. Let me see. Finger still on the trigger. Flashing. It, 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 it'll do it, though. Maybe it won't do it. No, see, now we're going too fast. See, that's what we don't want. With the consistency that I showed you, you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. Let's put it in speed two or one. See, I, dude, I'm terrified of this right here. This right here scares me because I, <laughs> I really, I really don't want to hold because this thing is strong. Like it's very strong. I, I'll tell I really you what. Don't if, like this idea. If you are really worried about it, if you guys watch my videos, you know I'm a big proponent for this. I use my body to protect my body no no well I, i'm doing so, that right now i just picture this battery just shearing off just like every other m12 tool i have yeah because what happens is you get too much torque on it your your grip is literally inside of the battery it's a little bit less on this one they might have moved it around a little bit but this battery becomes your freaking grip and then you got no choice but to uh yeah you can see you can see here where i'm naturally just lower actually where you're actually in the grip. And so, then this new tool here feels like it hugs you up tighter and there's less hand in the battery. Not very much, but there is less. Okay. Let's keep going. Well, what I was saying is I would put that, I would put the drill in my left hand so that if it did go in, like if it did let loose, it would actually head into my ribs, oh, like I into that area of my body. It will not go anywhere. This, this bell am, clip will just tear my whole hand open um, before I have to worry about If you put that in your left hand and then use your body to shield against it jerking. Oh, like that? Yes. No, that, that feels weird. I, well, that's because that, you're cool. not left-handed. You yeah. Can't, not, not doing it. <laughs> I do it every day. I'll, I'll tell him after he did it. Camera. So that was right the 2.0. Let's see what the 4.0, and this is going to bring me to my point. Okay. You major Tom that. to ground control. It's just a little bit warm. Yeah. Major Tom to ground control. None okay. of that was on camera. Oh, well, thank you, sir. <laughs> there it is, there, guys. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. It wasn't impressive. Uh, let's vacuum this up real quick. Okay, this is going to bring me to my next point, which requires the full screen here. Uh, this one? Yeah. Okay, this, this is my whole deal here, okay? And everyone's going to say, ah, you got to use it because it has more power, blah, 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 blah. Um, this is my whole thought, okay? Once you put this tool with a battery this big, there's no more point in this being a 12 volt tool. It's done. I'm going to grab the biggest tool that I can find in my shop and I'm going to show you this thing is still longer than the. Uh, hang on. That's stupid. Yeah, hang that on. was an impact hang driver. On. Hang on. I bet. Really, really belies the point there. I, I actually. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's embarrassing. This is a 20 volt tool. Yes. 20 volts. Um, I, I was going for the biggest though, really, but uh grabbed the wrong flex. But we're <laughs> we're gonna show you this first. This tool, we're we're gonna use this one next for a hole real quick and show you the difference. And this tool is nothing special. Um you can see here 
you're you, you almost may as well have a 20 volt like the whole point in a 12 volt tool is that i get to use the smaller batteries and then when it's in my tool pouch i don't have a big battery kind of flopping around and that is the actual number one reason why i switched to dewalt is because the batteries are just tiny <laughs> and you get a lot more power out Sure. Before we do this one, let's see what this DeWalt can do. This is a very similar size. Um, this okay. is still small. Sorry. You've got the 708, 709 are hanging around there. Yeah, that's right here, too. We could do that. Well, we already did this one. I'm going to show you the power of this. You did the power detect. That's the 998, right? That's oh, the, the 7, yeah, that was the 708. That's what I was saying. You confused me. Yeah, this is the 709. Yes, 709. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see what this has got. Uh, this is still smaller, and it should be because it's 12 volt. By the time you put this battery on there, uh, you're, you're, I mean, you're the size of the tool. So, it's still smaller. That's my thought. Well, hold on. I've you 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 continue to make your thought. I'm gonna go come over here and grab my Milwaukee. Okay. Because I'll just underscore, or at least I'll try to underscore your point. This, this is heavy. This is heavy. I've I've got this one too. Um, what the 12 volt tool is heavy? No, no, no. This is the 18, which is the okay. three. It weighs 4.81 pounds with with the compact battery. 4.81. Sure. Uh, this. Oh shoot. This with a high output. <coughs> weighs two point nine. Yeah. This to Walt. Weighs three point three two. Three point three two. Nice. Right, and this is this is twenty volts. So, um. My, my whole thought is, man, 12-volt tools should stay small. That's that's why you got them. That's, sure. That's my take on it. That, that, I'll just leave it at that. I, I really don't enjoy putting these bigger high-capacity batteries on a 12-volt tool. I don't, I don't think there's any need in it. Uh, this one here, I, uh -huh. I, I, I can see doing it with this. Makes sense. It's a bigger tool. This is an excellent tool. And uh, yeah, it makes sense with this. And the best part about this tool, the battery is not in the grip. It's right. fantastic. You cannot go wrong with this STS drill. On a professional level, on a scissor lift, 50, 60 holes, half inch, concrete that's been poured about mm, six months ago. Right. Uh, it, it you know it is softer. Don't get me wrong. Still concrete though. Um, it's it's great, great. Wrong way, wrong way again. There That's we go. Still your life. <laughs> I am listening, but I'm actually looking for a uh, my four amp hour max output battery. Nice. Because I want to show, just to underscore what you're saying about the size of the, the tools or whatever. So I'm going to try to prove both points that, you know, once you get up to a certain size battery in the 18 volt or the 12 volt line, that it is in essence becoming less effective for lack of a better word right now. Yeah. And I've seemed to have misplaced my max output battery. All right, we're going to go right here. All right. This one might not be able to do it either. It is, it is a atomic. So like you're 
around and do a swing. This won't do it either. Get it better, but but it still won't do it. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the whole point of this. Let's see if this 2.5, because that would be really, really cool. <laughs> but before we do that, we're going to do the 4.0. Okay. Bad. <laughs> One and a half and two. Are perfect for being a uh, building IKEA furniture set. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. That's six stalls, bro. How better? That what? Uh, Brandon, he said the six stalls and said how better. Uh, I don't have a six. So I don't know. I caught it. Don't worry. Right here. Didn't hit the floor. <laughs> so here's to kind of underscore his point. Here is, this is the Milwaukee Gen 2, because I don't have the Gen 3, but the Gen 2 with a 6. This is the rigid subcompact with a 6. Now, the, su the subcompact, I mean, if you're just going tool for tool, if you're looking at it, the subcompact is actually smaller than the gen 2 milwaukee but when i add in the battery to get a six amp hour battery on the subcompact it does make it quite a bit bigger but because you can match the watt hours or close to it with a two to a six and you actually have virtually the same size tool with a longer base here but the head the the width and all that is much smaller on the subcompact. So I was agreeing with you. Yeah. He stalled six uh, times with a power me, stack. Right? I can now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, looks, looks like it will be the be parts that, when he's done. That looked <laughs> impressively much. small. The subcompact. I'm yeah, telling dude, you guys. I would I would love to run a whole saw right now with that. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm really tempted to get the 800 from Deval. That's the one that's like mm -hmm. about this size, but not quite right. Yeah, it's, it's, like their, it's their newer one. I think it's it's their version of the subcompact, which Atomic was supposed to be. Right, right. But... It's, it's smaller than the 998. Oh, yes. But more, but powerful than... More powerful than the 709, yeah. More powerful. -er. Got it. Okay. <laughs> all, all I am so I've always had the the rule that when you go into metal it's low and slow right um and you're actually going through metal a lot faster than I would try to go through metal yeah well you can't deny that it's not burning up the whole saw if I'm holding the bit though. oh and I say it I, I'm not right. trying to right I, I'm just saying I I would go through a lot slower yeah Eight oh five. That's what they're saying. Eight oh five. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do another hole that way we don't have to keep picking. This and up. Ed's got the eight. And we'll Was do it? one more right here. Oh, <laughs> Ronald. And, and this is the biggest hole saw. I mean, essentially, you would use uh, anything bigger than this. And you're using a knockout set. That, that's just the way it is. Or so a this step is a bit, very, yeah. very strenuous test. Um, I'm going to switch to a three quarter on this yeah. before the end of this, and then probably a half inch. Yeah. Um, the Gen Two could could even still barely do one of these like effectively. So we're gonna we're gonna see if this thing can be used in the field. It's definitely more powerful already because this this is a very Large no, Jamie, you need of metal that you're cutting. This is mm -hmm. this is very strenuous. Even even I don't know if you noticed, but even even the uh, even the Milwaukee and stuff was like you know cutting out. Like it, it you're pushing hard and it's it's stopping because I have it in speed two. Yeah. Now, if you're All going right. into concrete, you, you definitely want something full size. <laughs> Mm 
All right, here we go. Are we centered? Kind of. You might be able to zoom in on. Well, you can actually just take me off the screen. Oh, we then... do that too. Look at that, though. That looks great. All right. There you go. Look at that. Take me off the screen. There you go. And Jamie, you always need more drills. It's just there a fact of life. Yeah. You had it. Like, like that first little instance, you had it. You just stuck, stuck it there. This isn't even close to being as good as the DeWalt. But but it's 12 volt. I'm not, I'm not saying that negative. I'm just making a comment. Don't, don't I actually comment. think that that first little bit, if you had held it just just as it was that first bit, you would have gone through. I, I, I was. It, it just wouldn't let me. I tried. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? This 4.0, man. It's fully charged. It's got a bad floor, I guess. I don't know. I couldn't okay. tell so, you. Something, something's up with this four. Let me get a different four and see what happens. All right. This is my lock. This is how this works. Oh, no. Definitely not going into concrete. I've seen guys use the 12 volt Milwaukee to go into concrete. I always shake my head at it because it takes Look, longer than it should. This one I had to rebuild with uh, freaking um, screws and uh, hot glue it back together. Way to go. Yeah. And, and, he and rewired and, it for more power. Look, you're surprised. Oh. And, and yeah, oh, this one's busted off too. This thing ain't going to stay in. I need to freaking duct tape this thing together. It's only got two bars. Let's see what it does with two bars. Okay. Hang on. This is a 3.0. All right. Doesn't like it. Let's try this for Get out of there. Two bars again on the fork. I guess it's consistent. I don't know. That is consistent. I give it that. This four is very consistent. Dude, I feel like the 2.0 did better, didn't it? Do you have any step bits hanging around there? Of course I do. Can you throw a step bit on there? Uh, yeah, I would, I would have to put my hands on one, but I got one here somewhere. We'll, we'll try, let's finish with the two, uh, let's do a new hole for the 2.5 right here. We're just going to start a new hole. Okay. And this drill is getting warm. We are at, uh, 84 degrees. There's a ton of movement. Yeah. 107. On the back. Oh, okay. So back at the motor, yeah. Let's uh, let's let's. You see got something. a sander, but before, <laughs> before we use this, let's let's see something because now I'm I'm just curious at this point. By curious, yeah. Yeah. Because why not, right? It's an insulation driver, so we may as well install a hole with it drills one inch holes uses six batteries yeah pretty much <laughs> that's what i'm saying let's put the 2.0 in it let's see what she's got i i love that installation driver this thing's such a bad idea dude i like this drill i really don't want to break it <laughs> i've wanted one and i just never pulled the trigger i love it i love the look of it I, everything about it just never pulled the trigger, huh? You know, honestly, this is probably one that you could leave in one and not have to worry about <laughs> anything catastrophic happening. Let's see what it's got. I never worry about catastrophic happening. I'm going to let this other drill kind of cool off just a second, just to make it there. Let's finish this hole with it. <laughs> oh no okay speed one <laughs> speed one's pretty good let's see it again 
Oh, uh, it's kind of perfect in speed one. It's getting painful to watch. We're not doing no more. Just kidding. Oh, you're almost through now. Dang. All right. We did it. First try. Hey, he just picked these tools up today. He just picked up the uh, the the new uh, Gen three today. Dude, this thing just feels powerful with this two point five. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see what it's got. Um, it is warm. And a bit. May or may not be tired of being a bit. Still feels fairly sharp. slow and just rock it it's bit. it's man it's pretty warm we might have uh, your your sound just cut out and uh i think your camera froze so i'm really? here all week folks uh well it did oh good yeah we're, we're gonna let this thing cool down Absolutely. for a second because it is it is very warm it's uh <laughs> But Mo Ron's more well fed, Ed. 113. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have to. Why don't you throw it in the freezer for a minute? That's tempting. I think I'm gonna tape it and just leave it in front of the flex fan. Huh? <coughs> Shoot me. We're gonna we're gonna leave it on top of this flex fan upside down like this. <laughs> that was getting drilled in, Howie, or drilling. I want to. I want to know. <laughs> well, what I was. Uh... For anybody just coming in, this is what I was expecting. What I was explaining to people is when you're doing a hole like that, you use the rocket method. So a little bit back and forth as it goes down. Yeah, yeah, you might not be able not, to tell, but yeah, we, we are not, not heating exactly up the just teeth. pushing straight down. Yeah, you're not heating up the teeth uh, all at once. You're letting the kerf of the teeth cool. And that'll set that'll prevent heat from traveling up into the drill. Right. Okay. So everyone knows how strong this drill is. Everyone's seeing this thing sink a seven eighths auger, inch and eighth auger, uh, all the way into a four by four, all eighteen inches. Let me show you how hard this task is because unless you're an electrician, you'll never know how hard this task is. I can steal, I can man. actually time this drill out. And this is a 3.5. This is a stacked lithium battery. Watch this. See where it almost like, ow, that's warm. See where it almost doesn't want to go. And then it has to kick into the second kind of torque mode with it. Mm-hmm. It's uh it's it's a pretty it's a pretty hard task, especially with an inch and a three eighths drill yeah. bit. Hey Mid Atlantic, glad to have you here. You can see where it stalls out. I mean it's it's not an easy task. No, absolutely not. 
It, it's a it I, I I fully acknowledge what you're doing is definitely hard. Let's see what the new guy wants to do. This is not the new one. This is the new one. Man, this thing is so tiny. It really is. Uh, you can actually see the difference. And not, not just because that there's a boot on this, but you can actually see the difference that this thing is definitely... Let me get this boot off. Uncle Fryer in the house. It, it it just looks different with the with the nose and everything. We appreciate you being here, Howie. It's uh it's clearly the newer gen. Oh yeah. I wonder, does this fit on there? Probably not, right? No. Maybe. It doesn't have that uh the nose cone. No, it doesn't. It's missing the nose cone. That sounds interesting. Just, listen, it's got like a double trip. Listen. Hear it? Yeah, the, the click back, yeah. Yeah. It almost it almost sounds like a bellow in there. Like I don't know if there's bellows on this trigger, but so, it, it sounds like there is a bellow that protects it from dust. If, if you ask me, it sounds like a rubber bellow behind the trigger spring. Yeah. No. Cool. Let's see what it's got. <laughs> it's fun to pull the trigger on it, though. Yeah, this is cooling down nicely. All right. Let's see what this thing's got. Because we saw the uh, we saw the 20 volt. Actually. Consistency. Let's use the Milwaukee one, which is somewhere here. All right, here comes Gen Three. That that has plenty of power, man. It really does. <laughs> Let's see this one. Connect the dots, yes, yeah, Scott. Gen two. Every testing you do, you end up pulling the flex drill to show it how it's done. Yeah. Right. Oh, you can clearly I, tell, man. Yeah. That's a Alex, cool winner. Glad to have you here, man. You saying the Gen two over the Gen three? This was the Gen two. Yes. And it was not as good. No. Okay. We're going to get this. All that and he's missing a square peg. Yep. <laughs> oh, the spring didn't launch this one out. And when it doesn't do that, it doesn't make for a good time. Uh, everyone turn their eyes. Don't look at me. We can't see anything. That's good because I was using something that I shouldn't be using. Uh, I just told. For now. I just responded to a comment to, from from someone, and I said, "Please explain to people how uh, you didn't understand a video while beating your chest about how you're superior." <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the Gen Two. Again, I'm going to be pushing as hard as I can and as fast as we can go. There we go. Of course, that gets stuck in there. So now I've got to get them both Ooh. out. Son of a... Alex, that would be a new... I'd like to see a new Surge come out, too. I'd actually like to see a new Rigid Stealth Force come out, but uh, that's a pipe dream. <laughs> See if we can get this out. And Scott M said you drilled it cocked. Yeah. Only half. Only half. Okay. 
Here comes the Gen 3. Same bit. Same thing. Fast and pushing hard. There you go. <laughs> he does like the rooster. He's a Makita user. Which one got it? I, I would say the Gen 3. The, yeah, the Gen 3 so. for me looks good. I, I think so, too. Alex, by the way, I love the name, Wolf Co. Tools. That's an awesome name, buddy. I ha I've been meaning to say it to you, uh, but this is I, I just haven't. But I wanted to say awesome name on that. All right, let's try this. It's a lot cooler than it was. Um, yeah, let's see what we got. <laughs> you're right here. Okay, here we go. Well, first we gotta drill the hole first. All right, here we go. It acts like it heats up fairly quickly. Once it gets hot, it just hard to be in a drill. Well, Jonathan, just stay safe and be good, buddy. Four. The, the, the two seemed like it did actually pretty well. Man, that's, a, that's an awesome middle name. Making me wish I had a panel box just to do this. Go get one. I'll have one. It, it doesn't like it. Couldn't speak to. There we go. Oh, check that out. Oh, it's tired of being a drill. That's why, because it's flashing. Oh. Uh, man, it's almost capable of doing it every time. Good enough. Like, don't get me wrong. You can put this in speed too. Like, you would only need. Um, we, we've done enough work here to complete a whole day of work, pretty much. Um, anything more than that, and you get your 18 volt or 20 volt. But, uh, man, I would say they are like miles better than the last gen. 100. Nice. I, I I like them. Uh. Especially, especially this. I really like this. This thing is light. Now we can check the, the weight because we took the, uh, we, we, uh, we did the thing with the stuff. Took the boot off. Oh, the electrical truck, Chuck. I'll tell you now, uh, Alex, the you electrical the truck on uh, Milwaukee, they're, the, the, you know, they're, they're supposed to cut out at like five pounds or whatever. No. See him go up to 50. This is not the pocket rocket you've been looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use. A whole day's work. <laughs> Let's use the drill that I built the SME basketball stadium, the Baylor museums. I'm sorry, the Baylor um, hospitals and uh, a couple of museums with this. This thing has always been, I'm never going to get rid of it. Scott, it's, it's not how long you work. It's how much they pay you to do it. This is the <laughs> 2604. <coughs> Oh, and you can see th this thing doesn't even have the chuck that you go the other way. You just go this way, and this this thing's awesome. Mm -hmm. We should probably get that slug out, though. There we go. 
Yeah, any tool you don't enjoy using, you should get rid of. Yeah, I do. Here we go. All right, so if that doesn't show you how hard this task is, like, you got to understand how well, uh, where the heck is it, <laughs> this drill, how well this drill performs. I hear you, BW. For, for the size. Like, this thing is awesome. Like, really awesome. This thing did more than I could have ever asked it to on a one-inch bit. I mean, we're, we're asking some serious stuff. You can see this drill bogged down, and this is a fuel, believe it yeah. or not. It's, it's an older fuel, but they, they, I've had this thing forever, and it's performed. Just remember, you can rent a room for an hour with a hooker, but you don't have to take it. <laughs> Hang on, I wanted to hear that. Well, you don't have to take the whole hour. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. All right, oh, Robert's favorite. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I I ask them if they can, if they'll take it by the second. <laughs> <laughs> See my wood? Smaller than I imagined, which is saying a lot. <laughs> Let's see what we got. We need a baseline. Anybody um, else notice the first thing he did was, you see my wood and then he beat on it? Oh, my goodness. That. See my bike? <laughs> One of the best, yeah. Oh, you know what? I can move this vice closer. That might make more sense. Let's see that. He's got his vice on a sliding scale. Your wood should never fall off, though. Uh, yeah, when it gets to a certain size, do you really care? I should say down to a certain size. There we go. That's nice. I think. Everybody can see it. Let me see. Yeah, we can see. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Cool. Thing is, this thing's getting warm, man. It doesn't like it. Uh, well, you're going through metal, and you're so metal transfers heat a lot more efficiently than wood. So I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't throw the, the baby out with the bath water on that drill just yet. Which one, me? Yeah. Oh no, I'm happy I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. That, that was an engineer bit. That's oh, actually... it's called woodworking, yeah. So is that a five inch? This is a six inch, I believe. Six. Yeah, six it, inch so, timber lock, yeah. yeah. Six inch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't see this going. But we're just trying to get a baseline. So here we go. Speed one, speed two. Uh, speed two. Okay. With the power stack fully charged. Here we go. Yep. Oh. Okay. That looked a uh, little easy. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. If you haven't seen these bits, you guys got to check them out. I'm sure everyone's seen them by now. They've been out for 15, 15 years. I don't know. This, uh, These are cleanable, so you can clean your magnet. Oh, nice. Uh, once once you get stuff inside here, you know, things stop sitting all the way down flush, obviously. Yeah. And, and then you really got to work to get that crap out with a stronger magnet or uh, pretty much a stronger magnet. You can see we got a little bit of junk right there on the top of it. You just... 
you just stab it your fingers into the metal and uh there you go you know uh, an old uh gym sock works too <laughs> oh this is the same drill <laughs> he is working with play-doh metabo hpt subcompact you know jim over at philly fix has that and i have wanted to buy it myself but it's another one of those like they keep coming out with bigger tools so i keep buying the bigger ones you know i gotta tell you actually i think this is gonna do it i, th I think it's gonna do it because it feels really torquey especially with this 2.5 let's see what we got do you have it in speed two or speed one still it should be in speed two. Oh, that sounded nice oh that sounds beautiful heck yeah that's a little torquey thing right there Ooh, do that again should we keep doing that until it starts smoking Oh my god, dude, that sounds terrible. Hang on. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, we fixed it. it caught between gears. I have no idea, but uh, it was super angry for a second. Oh, it's still kind of doing it. I can hear it. We only need speed two anyway. Here we go. In the words of our forefathers, just send her, bud. Send her. Ooh, spicy, man. It's it's pretty uh it's pretty powerful. I mean, oh, <laughs> it doesn't me, like that at all. Tell me if you've heard this before, but Milwaukee makes a really powerful tool. It also makes a really nice sounding tool. We still have all the fins. We have all the fins. Just sander. It's already sent. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. There you go, freezing again. Did it freeze? Yeah, did anybody else see him freeze, or is it just me? We're, we're going to try this uh, when we get to here. Is that a one? Gonna... Right, I was going to send it. Is that a one inch auger bit? This is bigger than that. This is a freaking inch and a quarter. Okay. The max RPM is 600. So we're going to put it in uh, about 22. Fifteen <laughs> <laughs> fifty. Here we go. Oh, I cheated. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, let's see what DeWalt does real quick before we, uh, we Are you trying a DeWalt 20 volt or a DeWalt 12 volt? I gave away my DeWalt 12 volts to my best friend. Here we go. That's a housewarming gift with some beer. Here we go. Wait. That's that right, great. Howie. <laughs> it did more. <laughs> it actually. So. So this one just barely like just nothing. And this one actually went down quite a bit. So it, it is more powerful. If you were to put your torque meter on there, you would probably see more torque on this, uh, on this guy. We're going to have to see. Actually, you know what? we should put the eight on it for fun. Let's see. This is the kind of ridiculous stuff I'm talking about. Like there's no, there's no point in doing this. Can you imagine? Yeah. As the wife always tells me, bigger batteries mean better. That's oh, it did it did about the same. So an 8.0 on a 709 is equivalent to Oh, you got that on camera at let go? Yeah, let go. They all let go eventually. He's hard. He's running hardwired internet, isn't he? Or is he? It's hard yeah. because he's on Wi-Fi. I don't know. No, it's it's a it's an i5, Ryzen five with a Radeon. So it it should probably only lag just a little bit, but it's it's hardwired. We're probably okay. getting about a gig out here. But was I the only one that saw him freeze, or did you guys see it freeze for a second? Here we go. I've seen it. Die. Okay. Now we really got to hang on. Oh. And this is the point where if you were left-handed, you wouldn't have to let it. Happen. 
That is impressive, folks. Wow. Yeah. That's that. Not, wow. That's not half bad, actually. Um, I'm worried about getting it out. Let's see. That, that's not bad, dude. <laughs> this this little drill is actually pretty darn impressive. The best part about it is that when you're it's torquing and stuff, this is far away from from right here on, on your on your finger uh, thing. Yeah, that thing right there. Your that, knuckle. That is. Oh, it's not really. It's whatever. It's a knuckle inside of your finger. The web. Yeah, kind of the the inside of your finger right here. Usually, this gives me a lot of trouble with a lot of different drills. Mm -hmm. Um, what it actually, do? I think it's this one. Yeah, it's yeah. This one. You this see one right how... here. Look, look at this. Look at this. I can't do this drill because this is the Gen Three. By the way, see how it's riding right there? It's like it's right on me all the time, right there. It's so uncomfortable for me to use. Do That's you, just do a you... personal thing. There's nothing wrong with this drill. This drill is was better than my Gen Four. But um, it's just not a comfortable tool. And then, and then you go to something like this, and you can see all that real estate there. Look, you can fit your whole finger in between where that is. Like, I don't have any fear. Like, it's, it's really well designed. They've done a really good job on these. They're really well shaped. I, I'm really, really enjoying this new generation of M12. Mm. Good. Yeah. I, I, I'm just... Look, this is this is my vantage point for using the M12, and as you can see, I have no fear of that bell clip. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get the 850. My favorite. Maybe, maybe not my favorite anymore. Uh, let's weigh this actually. Oh, dang, dude. I grabbed this, and I don't know if I liked it as much because it's been a while since I grabbed it. Oh, like, well. I really, oh, man. Oh, no. I really, really like, really, really like the feel of this. Like, it feels, it, it feels like a DeWalt. Does that make sense? Like, I, I can say that because DeWalt is, like, the best thing. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know DeWalt's what you're saying. comfortable. This does not feel like a Milwaukee. Okay. That, I, I feel like that's fair to say because the you have a flex volt. You, you, that's comfortable. Yes. My my nine nine eight is like amazing. Wherever the heck it is right now. None of them are. It's in the bag in front of you. Yeah. See, see all that space for my hand right there. It's it's. This is just a really really comfortable drill. If you've never held one of these, um, you're missing out, man. This thing is just. Really nice to hold, and I think that this, if it wasn't for this bump out right here because of the battery goes inside, I can feel that on my hand. Damn, dude, this thing feels good though. Like it feels really, really good. Well, that's great to hear. I I like that. You and know, what I, I just realized too. Actually, uh, um, well. this is rubber. You this okay? is this is made of rubber. I can put my fingernail dent in it. See it right there. Yeah. Um. This is the original one. It's rubber too, but it's in a different way, I guess. Maybe it is rubber. I don't know. This is rubber too. Never mind. Okay. Sorry, guys. False alarm. There, yeah, there's more though. The flat, the, the flat is rubber. I guess is what I noticed. This mm -hmm. goes to an instant cone, and then that that has a flat to it. I don't know. This, this feels really good. I, I really like it. Uh. Yeah, B D I I'm with you. It does really depend on how big your hands are, or in, in this case, how small. <laughs> oh, we and got a fully yes, charged. Howard. Get him uh, a purse. Power stack. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. So that's the 850. Too loud. Um, let's use Glad the Makita. To have you here. Here's Robert's favorite here. We're going to give us some extra help. Though. We're, we're going to give us some extra help. Look, look, look. You can improve the performance of the Makita with one of these. Hang on. 
Hang on there. We perform, perform, improve just, the performance look, look, just, of the Makita. I, I'll improve the performance of the Makita right here. <laughs> just beat it with a hammer. No, um, the, the screwdriver. This, this would be faster yeah. than a Makita. This, oh, dude, this thing only has one bar anyway. I can't even show you because I gave Woohoo! I gave my brother my other battery. <laughs> Milwaukee, the where the so. where the rubber beats the drill. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's see what let's see what the Gen Three's got. Gen Two's got with a. Everything looks the same, man. I'm just looking around, and all I see is the same drill. We have lost the high output. It's on the end of the hammer drill. It's not. Is it? No, it's right here. Oh, this is a hammer drill. Yeah, my bad. This thing is still warm. It's still yeah. very warm. I you get it up to 100 and something degrees, it does take a minute to cool. Yeah. Well, it's been sitting. How hot you think it is right now? 97. 109. All right. Uh, Gen 2. It's going to go up in smoke. He'll return it. <laughs> I like it. I'm not returning it. <laughs> you will if it goes up in smoke. I uh, might. If it goes up in smoke, we we haven't exactly been nice to it. So if it did, that would be my own fault. And I don't think I'd return it. But we just lost the tip now, dude. What the hell is wrong with me? It's in the Makita. It's, it's, God Almighty, thank you. He's letting the all, guy with Alzheimer's here. Let the guy with Alzheimer's do all the remembering for him. Oh, dude, the the two point five. In the Gen 2 is an upgrade. I'm going to show you right now. Uh, let's get a new 2.0. So our new 2.0 has a star on it. Which is somewhere around here. There it is with the star. Yes. Here we go. Fully charged still. Here comes the. Don't worry, I kicked it before it hit the floor. It's all right. You didn't need that battery. All right, here comes the high output. I don't know. It's difficult to say. It it uh it sounded two bars right now from that last pull. Drop it on the charger real quick. <laughs> it's, it's charging, so. Um, Alex said 95% of the work is looking for the tool you just had a second ago. Only for him. Only for me, yeah, exactly. That I made mean, it sound like Makita. I don't know if you can see this whole layout, but I, I mean, we have a lot on this table, too. We have a uh, kind of have a lot going on here. And then there's like 17 freaking batteries. Uh, hang on, I can zoom out. That is in. There we go. Yeah, we can get some of these batteries. Dude likes to melt the clock. What'd you say? I'm reading the comments. Oh, well, someone has to. Yeah. Now, thank you for that, by the way, sir. They said, uh, Big Dog said, tactics is blown. I'm blown, yeah. Normally, he does the blow in. <laughs> but I can see where it gets confused. Oh, man. I, I was talking to him. I was running around in between jobs and stuff. And uh, he was like, how's it going today? And I was like, dude, I'm just blowing and going. And then I was like, 
<laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> wrong guy. <laughs> you said it to the wrong guy. Yeah. yeah he was ready, too. <laughs> yeah, just a um, normal day at work for you. Uh, <laughs> Howie Z said you like to milk the clock. Yeah. Uh, Where is... Oh, this is again... All I could say is that he and I definitely have two different styles of using tools. Oh and yeah, I, I do get it. Uh, I do get a kick out of him watching it. Uh, like I do get a kick out of watching him use them. Yeah. Uh, he I'm hasn't done a full stuff, day's man. work in thirty years. <laughs> Uh, Has anyone seen the movie Constipation? I I didn't know that they made a movie about it. No, what? <laughs> Must be really stressful. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of people pushing to get in. Uh, <laughs> I, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. Like a Maytag repair guy. No. That's because it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> we are going to get in old days, yeah. Let's get another five sixteen to see if we can race something. Because this battery's on the fast charger. It should be done in like soon o'clock. Have you found your step bit yet? What's that? Have you found your step bit yet? Oh, I know where it is, but I just gotta I gotta get it. Hang on. It's in the other one, but it's in the same type of container. I have to take more breaks today because I am having a hard time. I want to see because he's he likes to go through those a little faster. Oh, this is a uh, this is a Harbor Freight one. I don't know where my Greenlee one is. That's all right. Squeeper saw the wind in the house. Squeeper! Well, you want to see it on the drill? Yep. Which one? The new one? The, yeah, the new one. Okay. And I want you to run it as fast as possible. Get a center punch so you have a starting point. Is, is that because of this bit, or is it just... It's probably because of the bit. Don't worry about tired it. Tired of being... Uh-oh. You saw that? Oh, it's doing it again. Hang on. Please be the bit. Okay, good. <laughs> so to lock this bit, we got to pull the collar. <laughs> <coughs> so we broke something there for a second. Uh, with a 4.0? Whichever. I want you to use the drill, though. Yeah, Not you're the right. impact. I don't know why I uh, put that in there. and just just send her home oh we sent something home yeah we almost sent the damn camera that's all right it, it I actually improved your audio but it doesn't even make any sense i don't know what to tell you okay whatever is everyone having a good time i'm enjoying it i'm, I'm enjoying it I like watching people use tools. I like I like using tools. Maybe we should move this so we don't impale it. <laughs> oh, check this out, dude. This thing is like super old. What is this? This is a 2653. So, so I think freaking. I had the newer version of this. And then my buddy brought me his. And I just gave him mine. And I said, give me yours. But but this thing sounds like, listen to the way this thing sounds, dude. It's tired of being a drill. Oh, it doesn't even turn on. Hang on. Oh, maybe the battery's dead. Hang on. Yes, it's always a comedy night when we're together. We like having a comedy. Oh, oh, listen to that. Mm. That sounds fantastic. It's time to chuck that in the garbage. 
This is uh, this is what. It oh no! Take like. it to Goodwill. They'll give you money. For it. That's what it should sound like. Oh, dude, this thing feels strong too. That's the Gen Three. Two, four, <laughs> That's doing anything to have a good time very informative i can tell you read it yeah all right this is only gonna hurt do you have a center punch first because i don't want uh, it to i wander. don't need no stinking center punch i do have i one. just let don't want see. it to wander oh, i don't want wander. it to wander i won't let it you ready yep send it full speed No, it's not going to go, but uh, okay. we can put it in. I, I could slam it all the way in, but I realized that I'm actually scratching my chuck up and it won't look so pretty. Mm. Uh, this thing's capable, very capable. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I got to test because this was my bias coming in on this was that. I didn't like the speed one setting on the Gen 2. Um, it still wasn't quite enough, but I might like the speed one setting with this one because the speed one setting was still like somewhat bogging down where it still wasn't <laughs> hard enough. And then since yeah. it was almost bogging down, it kept timing out on the Gen 2. But, mm -hmm. but in this, with this new drill, especially with the 4.0 or probably the 2.5, um, I, I feel pretty good about having it in the lower speed. Let's do it again. That's not bad at all, man. That's no. This isn't even a sharp bit, and that is a hard task. Yeah, but I would think, just given that your drilling style and how you like to do things, yeah, that a bigger step bit like that might be more advantageous for you than a hole saw. Yeah, speaking about how I like to do things, I got something crazy in here. Hang on. You guys tell me if you agree or disagree. He likes to do things a little higher speed when he's going through the metal. So I think it would be like just more natural for him to use a bit with larger flutes that allows for more airflow and won't build up that heat as much, especially in that drill. It's like watching a magic show without the magic. So this is a... Uh... I used to like basketball. Now, this thing is actually stuck on this. So um, Somebody asked me about this the other day. This, usually you put this in your drill, and then you hold this here, you put it in reverse, and it pops off. Mm -hmm. Dude, this thing heated so up so fast and so much, it burnt the freaking piss. I had blisters on my... What, I didn't even know that it was heating up. Uh, is it an impact? Because that's nope. what it's for. You're supposed to put this in impact. And um, it, it heated up so fast that... It, it, this thing is just uh, this is one piece now this is forever right. stuck welded together sure but this is what i used to use um to do this because when you have a four square box you can actually hold a four square in your hand and drill with this because with a drill it's full on and then it gets in a bind and and you're in a world of trouble and with an impact as you know, you're, you're free to move it left and right while you're, you know, while you're impacting, screwing in, whatever you're doing. Absolutely. And you got a hell of a lot more control. Um, this has been around since I was using Makita back in 20, I don't know, uh, eight, 2008. Okay. What setting is that in? Oh, it's falling down. So this drill doesn't have enough torque because it is uh, bogging down. Well, throw that whole apparatus there. On the... Gen wall. 3. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We need to keep track of that. It's right there, guys. So 
you guys see how he was working that impact. He was moving it back and forth. He was rocking it. That is a much better tool for him to use in that instance. <laughs> this this thing, dude. I'm surprised this thing even still cuts. Like it's 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 damn near smooth. <laughs> it's it's so old. This thing doesn't even have anything on it anymore. But is uh, that a Harbor Freight one too? This is a Harbor Freight, dude. I've had this thing forever. I probably drove more than 200 holes. And, and what I'd use this for, I wouldn't be drilling the whole hole. I would be drilling out. I would knock out a three quarter, for example. So a four square yeah. typically has a two, two, two half inches and then a three quarter yeah. standard, unless you order the one inch ones. So, it's, so like right here on this, on this four square box here, I don't know if you can see that right here. Yeah. But the way, yeah. right here, that's a three quarter. And then. Mm -hmm. This is two half inches. Mm -hmm. So once this one's used up, if I wanted to put another three quarter pipe here, um, a knockout set is almost too big to get into this. And then typically you only had one hydraulic knockout set on the job site. So that's, you know, that tool is several thousand dollars. You got to check it out. You got to go get it. And uh, just like how I bought my own reciprocating saw bits, I bought my own hole saws. I bought all that stuff was supplied, but I want to get my job done faster. So I just buy that stuff myself. Um, I didn't feel like spending 30 minutes of the company's time to go get the knockout punch to do what I could do in three seconds. So I just put this, put, put the four square on the floor and just get after it with this. And uh, yeah. this is, is still a, an option today. Is that a screw, uh, a screw hole in there? Where? Other side. Side away from you. That one? In the drill? No. In the chuck. Oh. No, I don't know what that is. It's it's not a uh it's I don't know what it is, honestly. I don't know. You, you know it, me, I don't read instructions. So when I bought this, I'm just wondering if it, there's I like it up and it worked. I'm just wondering if there's like a release in there. That that is an idea. Um we can we can try it out real quick. I have no idea because I've never owned one of those. Let's see here. Set screw. No, it's it's nothing. It's just a thing. That, that, that would be like where you would usually see some kind of something, a but there's no bounce hole. to it. There's no there's nothing in there. Scott said there might be a lube hole. It, it Mine's no really like at least when I've needed it, they've always been in the back. I'll just wait for people to chime in on that comment. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe it's something that I can't see because we are talking about my vision here. I mean, do you have a like a little flashlight you can shine down in here and see uh, if there's a... Uh, That battery's charged now. Oh, good. Yeah. Got that rapid charger on it. No, there's nothing in there. Why would a hammer be needed? <laughs> well, a hammer's needed for everything, man. You gotta. I wasn't sure if it was like a spring or something. This thing is. This thing is on the next level of good. I mean, I've abused this thing to where when it locked up, I was like, "Cool, thanks for your service." Like. I, I really didn't care that this thing stopped working after owning it since 2009. Really didn't care. Nice. All right. What do we got? We got a warm battery. Um, look at all these batteries, dude. I got so many. Look, this is one of the OG batteries. OBs. OG. OB. OG. Original battery. <laughs> Chucks are pressed together. I can't. I can't see what's going on in there. It's too, uh, oh. it ain't happening. All right. You know. All so right. Sorry, let's get sorry, back sorry. to it. So this is a high output and this is the. That's the new one. This No, this is not the new one. This is the old one. Here it is. Oh, so that you're right. 
I, I do like the try twist. LED a lot. Yes. It's Howie Z said push and twist. Push and twist with what? That Chuck. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm terrified to use it, man. It burned me so bad. It, it's it, There's different types of burns, right? There's like the fire, and fire is hot, but that's more I, like a wet burn. And then you have like an electrical burn. That's super dry. And this thing is like a friction burn, dude. Like it, it, there's different types. It, it, you think a burn is a burn, but th dude, this thing... I, this thing, I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> I don't think he was suggesting it an impact. I'm not putting it in a drill. I don't think he was suggesting in a drill. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do for you. What was he saying to do? Hold on to it? <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Okay. I'm not ready. Hang on. Can we get it loose? That would be tightening. Just hit the okay. button. Is that right? No. There we go. There we go. We did it now. All right. Here we go. Damn. Oh. Nice. How is he with the save? Uh, it's fine. <laughs> a, awesome. a brushless flashlight. It, are you filming with a potato? No, yeah. the camera has a potato in it. Do you like my potato? It's got a beard. Uh, <laughs> a brushless so On my flashlight. screen, it looks really clear. <clears throat> I don't know what you guys are seeing. That looks fine to me. It, huh. it, well, we, have the, uh, we have the direct connection to each other. Yeah, is, it is. Thing, is that fuzzy on YouTube or not? Um. Oh, yeah, a little bit, but we're both fuzzy on YouTube. Yeah. So after so long on YouTube, sometimes it gets fuzzy. Uh, that's because not enough people have hit the thumbs up. Oh, is that, is that what it is? That's what I'm going to blame it on. That's what we'll do. So it's sixty something degrees we'll outside. This camera, this camera should not be fuzzy, spot. but I bet it is fuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Is it fuzzier than my face? Well, Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. My, my. Well, so fuzzy, fuzzy wuzzy, wuzzy, wuzzy wasn't fuzzy wuzzy. Wuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Let's get the bike back. <coughs> lighting could be way better. Yeah, I agree. The lighting could be better? You know how many lights I have in this mother? Hang on. Uh actually it's a, it's a keyless chuck. But sometimes the springs get caught. What What like, is this thing doing? There we go. Okay. I, I'm just saying every time you adjust the camera, your volume sounds better. I, okay. So it's probably a grounding thing. Like where whenever I touch the camera, you bonding, I guess I could loop a wire between everything and, and fix the, uh, the noise. He is smoked the bed. He got it out. 46 degrees here. Big dog. I got to move there. Okay. Uh, must be getting cold. I have 50 barn cats with their little eyes looking at me. Have you seen the movie Cats? The the cats or whatever it is where like the, the, the house hey, cats. Hey, like, no. No, it's not the bit. It's just it's the it's the it's the collet. Chuck, dude. It's the effing it's collet. collet. It is the freaking here. Let me fix it for the Milwaukee here. Oh look, we fixed it. All right, here go. we go. That that's impressive, man. It really yeah. is. Uh, the collet though is interesting. Um, so it, he, he's using a different mic from the camera mic. Look at that. Let, let me get a different one. Why, why do I have all these problems? Like, okay, well that one went. And then, and then we're back to the same bullshit. I mean, crap. Uh, let me find. Okay, you're oh, you're almost two hours in, so you can say whatever the hell you want. Yeah, whatever the hell we want. Okay, that one grabs. All right. So the Milwaukee bit grabs in the Milwaukee. No, this is an Apex. Oh, oh. 
well, Apex Ham. This, this thing, I mean, I've had this bit for years. It might just Who's be the... it might just be fairly thin in one spot. Look up for the hole. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take this same bit and we're gonna put it in the gen two. Okay, you see All that? Right. Yeah. Well do it in the eight fifty, just so it's not a Milwaukee thing. Okay. Well here's the eight fifty. That's nice and hell. We'll do it again. We'll go back to the newer gen three. <laughs> I'm grab it now. It walks through the wall. It's like, oh, I know how to do it now. <coughs> Joshua, you know too well. I, I mean. One bearing? That's what I'm looking for right now. If it's one bearing, dude. <laughs> It's one bearing. <sighs> it's one bearing, but so so is this one. This one's one bearing. This one grabs every time, though. Interesting. Inter. Where'd the drill go? Interesting. <laughs> Okay, that's getting stupid now. Like, I'm slamming it in there. Push the collet out. And then I mean, try. Just... Hmm. <laughs> Joshua, I don't, I don't know that I'm getting the... Uh... I'm not a trouble either. Strong, though. Yeah, I am not a 12 volt, 12 volt user typically. I don't enjoy the 12 volts. Isn't uh, rigid brushless three bearing? Uh, I have never checked. I've never had an issue with the rigid. So this DeWalt, this 850 is cheap bearings. More likely, it's an over, uh, like an overly tight spring or an overly strong spring. We'll, we'll let it break in a little bit before we call it. I, I like how strong it is. I like yeah. this drill. I like the way it feels. No um, wrong. <laughs> this is going to be my new EDC. Uh, I think I think I'm retiring this one. Um, it, it had a good two month run. It what? It had a good two month run. It did. It did. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna weigh it in a second. Let's let's see it again. Here we go. This is with a 2.5. The way that 12 volts are intended to be used without a big bulky battery. If not, you may as well get something larger. Uh, here we go. Here comes a 18 volt or 20 volt, whatever you guys want to call it. Yeah. Here we go. So at this point, power becomes relative when you have a compact <laughs> tool like that. This thing is going to do everything you need it to for the size, 100%. Um, <laughs> if you're able to use this to make up a light, close up a box or something like that, <coughs> at the end of the day, uh, the 850 might be a little bit smaller on this department, but it doesn't even compare on the width. Um, yeah. it's definitely longer there. Yeah. And also one thing that I've noticed is that having a short impact doesn't actually help you out because this gets in the way. So when you get in a corner and you're trying to drill something, this hits before this can hit. So you wind up putting a longer bit here. So that way when you're drilling something flush, I don't know how to show you here. I'm trying to get a different background, so I'm sure it's black. You can see where the battery is making contact. Only if you don't hold it straight, yeah. Yeah, but you, you see what I'm saying, though. This is yeah. a fairly long bit, though. Um, most of your bits are uh, a little bit shorter. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. So there's your standard 5 sixteenths, and you can see we're almost flush with the battery. So you wind up, when you get in a corner is where you really suffer. Um, you just have to use it to understand what I'm talking about. But, 
this is really nice because this is actually further back from the front of this. This this is a this is just really comfortable, powerful enough. And uh, let's see if we can see a difference between the high output 2.5 versus a 2.0 on a timber lock. All right. Uh, yeah, Josh, I'm happy that the, the new M18s come with the two bearings. Uh, my, I, I do have a Gen 3.5, and, and I have the same collet issue. But um, I, I, I've not heard anybody saying that with the Gen 4. Uh, I am a little disappointed that they would put, in essence, the same collet on an M12. And uh, Big Dog, the 850 popped the Gen 3's cherry. <laughs> this is the one with the star on it, brand new battery. Still got four bars on it. Here we go. Put the high output on it. Here we go. Oh, you gotta let me know. It's pretty close. That last one made the difference. This this is a little bit more powerful, isn't it? It, it looked that way. The just the last test there. The the last two. I, I, it's I feel seen like that it way. Is. Um. I'm trying to think what we could do to, uh, I know what we can do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do Sunday. Is we're going to run different batteries with that torque adapter through different brands just to see how they, how they do. Because I, I did it with the uh, rigid max output six against the octane six. And I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, y'all are going to be, you're all going to be surprised. Here's a CP 2.0. All right. A new one. It is down one bar. Uh, let's go for it anyway. Here we go. Have a good one, Renegade. Thanks for showing up. We appreciate you, buddy. And continued success on your channel. Hey, we didn't lose a the bit. There you Actually, go. You know At first, I wasn't going to go all the way through. I'm going to see if I can lose a bit on this real quick. Yeah, of course we can. No surprise there. All right, here comes the two point five. I do like I, I do like those installation drivers, the Flexi Click, the Chameleon, the the M12. I like them all. So so we could see this spinning. It was going pretty slow. Um, let's see if there's an improvement. Hey, that's Literally. an inch and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. 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 It's it's already better. You, you can clearly see this thing is moving a lot faster. So I'm actually going to switch the battery midway so you can see this thing. 2.0 without a high output. And then you put this one on it. You, you can see there's a... Yeah, there, that is a significant... There is a bigger difference with the high output. Yeah. He'll be right. looking for that battery in a little bit. Well, yeah, this, this is this is worth it if you want to get a little extra jump. And let's see, is it equivalent to a 4.0? Because that's that's what I really want to know. I mean, do you do you still need these bigger batteries that turn your tools into you know essentially you may as well carry something that can do all the tasks? Here comes the four. There's a high output.
<laughs> you know, it looks to me like it's really close to being about the same as the 4.0. It might just be. by looking down in there and watching it spin. Yeah. It, it seems very similar. Just, just because this does have a lot more batteries in it, and there probably is a little bit more average voltage on this, mm -hmm. I might say that this might be like slightly better. But you look at the size of it. This this H this uh, HO high output is a huge improvement uh, versus your standard CPs. So that's pretty cool. So for seventy bucks. And you get 0.5 more output. That's true, yeah. So um, let's see what the weight is real quick. <laughs> About 20% got him. Yeah. Um, you need another 850 tactics. Go bid on the ones I have on auction. <laughs> Big dog, you're funny. Uh, um, three so they, they're ounces. still using the 18650 cells in the new ones. Three ounces here. 4.0 is 5.1 ounces. And Brandon, there you go. This battery here is a little bit lighter. I can already tell. I'm going to guess 2.8. 2.6. Oh, Samsung. you can see that good. Nice. Yeah. It's a uh, Samsung 18650. Yeah, all in all, man, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, high output batteries for these tools um let's let's do this one more time on a let's do a what are we gonna do hang on two seconds while you're doing that i got a question for everybody here on my community uh page earlier today i posted a poll uh asking everybody uh what's the surest sign of a midlife crisis and it was like <laughs> Corvette, uh, fake tans, Makita, or dyeing your hair, or hair dye, right? We're at almost 600 votes. Anybody care to guess what one's leading? <laughs> you can really tell. You can really tell. Like, it's funny. No 5 0, uh, how I put to compare. Um, I, I, I don't. I don't think he has the five zero. Oh yeah, no, I don't have the five zero. Um, no, and I gave away my six because that seems to be going to me. Uh, Tool channel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tool Channel certainly fits the bill. Oh no, not concrete again. I gave you the four choices, people. We're going to go with the quarter inch bit because I feel like. Howie, how unfortunate. I feel like that's a fairly common size because that would be your nail it and your. <laughs> wall linkers. Flies out? Yeah, I don't know if they're out. <laughs> Hair dye. Careful now. Okay. Well, yeah, well, that was certainly one of the choices was hair dye, but guess which one's leading? That that would be the that's the the best guess. Guess which one is leading? And you can really tell the people that watch my channel. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> Oh, that was kind of cool. All right. So we're only going as deep as that flag there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hey, where's the vice from? Uh, I don't know, man. Harbor Freight? There you go. I think it's Harbor Freight. And it's nice because you can move it around. Um it's, it's not the best, but you can also bolt it if you want to, and it does stay. I've, I've bolted this before, and it absolutely does stay. And I switched the jaws out to wood because um, I was soldering, sweating, 
copper. Howie, and, just because uh, you take the blue pill doesn't mean you have to use it, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay, hang on. We're not tight. Something's wrong. This thing might be too bent. When did this thing get bent? Probably when you were pushing down on it. No. Using the healthy the, the healthy. Oh. Just wasn't chucked in good. There we go. Yep. Imagine that. Here we go. <laughs> uh, Woo! You know what? It, 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 let's go with the. Ch uh, so it's an STS bit, of course. So with a grain of salt, of course. Let's. Um, Let's find a concrete bit that's not an SDS. This this should not release though. Uh, it just shouldn't. We'll um. Did you lock it? I didn't see if you locked. Yeah, it. Yeah, I locked it, man. Uh, I'm not happy with that. Actually. Why don't you get your Gen Four mil? Oh, oh, <laughs> never mind. Oh. That was oh. a very subtle dig right there. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the is for the charge? first time I silenced Howie Z. I just want you to know that. <laughs> That's what uh so, and it was locked. Like I'm, I'm unlocking it. <laughs> so, all right. When you're, <laughs> just a drilling, do da do da. No, it doesn't. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Hang on. Damn it. See, we, we push these tools to the limit so you don't have to get on the job site. Or, or so we can say, you know, I'm being too rough on them. And to that, I would say, uh, well, then it's a piece of stuff. I think you're, I think you guys are right that he gets all the bad tools in the store, saves them for him. They hold them for me. They're like, ah, yes. They're like this one on the shelf. I thought I had another SCS bit here. Uh, That's true, Jamie. They watch laughing when he reviews the tool. <laughs> this is going to be a quarter inch. Yeah, here we go. Well, Scott, uh, thanks. This thanks was actually my bad, guys. Sorry. This was no. This is a quarter inch too. They just look smaller, but this was a quarter inch. Like All right. Old. This is a. My prediction is it does just fine. This is a Milwaukee. The other one had a uh, four four tip. This only has two. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's not bad, man. It's really not bad at all. But this is becoming a trend. I see that. It did come and, out. And it, and it did it. It did it on this, if you recall. Yeah. My, uh, <laughs> can, can, I, can I experiment on your channel tonight? Uh, I, I, I want you, I want you to do the testing, but I want to experiment with something. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure right. we were. Experimenting so with oh crap. no not not the no way you oh, normally okay, experiment okay, with on. men. So uh, does, does, hang on real quick, does it stand up? Oh man, it barely like it wants to fall over. Yeah, that's why I like the, that's why I told you I like the four and six amp hour batteries. Yeah, here's the deal, man. When I'm working at someone's house, I always lay my drills down anyway because. Even, even like, even this, it's never going to fall over. I would still lay this down because it, it's just not worth it. If it falls on the floor, 
or, or even if it fell on the floor and it didn't do damage, mm -hmm. but then they saw it fall on the floor and they saw damage in a different spot. Yeah. Your, your brain starts, you know, your, the cogs start turning. You're like, Hey, did I see this spot before? It's just not worth it. It's, it's like, I, I don't even want to, I don't even want to be put in that situation. So anytime that I can, I always lay my tools down anyway. This, that's not a deal yeah. breaker for me. So I want you to uh, take the SDS bit. Yeah, let me get it out. Uh, the actual okay. SDS bit. The actual SDS bit. No. Okay. You just set it down. All right. Now, when you put it in the chuck, when it starts to ratchet, just like get it two clicks. Okay. Stop clamping down on it and give it a half turn back. Okay. We're back down to three bars on this, by the way. Okay. Nope. Nope. Uh, sorry. I have it. Okay. So, what do you want? Just ratchet it till you hear it click two or three times. Okay, that was like six. <laughs> Let me try again. <laughs> Okay. Dang it. This this is not maybe we should try the other bit because it also loosens, okay. you know. All right, no problem. Try the other bit. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Now what do you want? Click it. Like go slow. There. That's All it. All right, like that was five again. Like you, yeah. you can hear the clicks, right? Yeah, I can, but it's it's so loose if you don't. Okay, hang on. Okay, you ready? Two? Yep. Two or three. One. No, that's not even one yet. That's not even one yet. One, two. Okay. Okay. And then half turn back. It, it came do undone. It. it came undone. Hang on. I, let me go three clicks. <laughs> okay, one, one, two. Three. Okay. One more or no? No. Okay, half turn back? Mm -hmm. Just a lot. That, that, you're done. Okay. Like, you can hear it click back. Yeah, yeah. No, I heard when it. When you hear it click back, you don't have to keep going. Okay, you ready? Yep. You know, I got to tell you, mm -hmm. my hand is melting right here. Like there is some heat coming off of this thing. And it is like the airflow is like a fucking blast furnace right here. It feels like it's like, I don't even know, man. It's freaking I, hot. I just want to ask you one thing. Did the bit fall out? No, not yet. No, it's in there. So it might not be the problem with the chuck as much as it could potentially be over tightening the chuck. I, I've never heard of that, but yeah, yeah, we can, uh, we can go with that. Let's see. Why is yeah, this have you guys like, am I wrong here? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, Still in there. So if you got, tell me, have you heard of over tightening the chuck? Have I? Yeah, you no, said you I, had. I never had these issues until like recent chucks. Yeah, you said um, you hadn't, but th th it's something like so with older drills when you used to do the key, right, and you would over tighten it, you would strip out some of the so, so some of the, the the teeth on the chuck. So over tightening the chuck used to be a a bigger issue than it is now because we've got keyless shocks, but I oh, think I it's see. the same thing. This, this drill here, this original one. Yeah. Sorry. Pin it up. This, this doesn't have that click back feature and I, I've never had the issue. I think so too. Until I started buying the gen three. Cause I went from this to the gen three because I yeah. liked this so much. I, I mean, I was kind of reluctant to even buy the gen three. Um, but you'll see here, like that's it. Like it, there is no, 
that's just the play. Right. There, there is no lock back. There's loosened. But there is no click, click, click. There's it's not even a click yeah. click. It, it's there's nothing there. Sure. There, there is no lockback. It's just Yeah, well this, this, that's it. This, so I've I've watched other channels do exactly what you do where they just keep tightening and tightening and tightening on that till they literally can't tighten anymore and then they have to half click it back. Uh workshop addict is is like notorious if you watch him do it. He's he's just until it's until it's done moving. Right. Right. Well that's actually first of all it's bad for the chuck. You don't want to do it. Right. If you go four, five, six, it, it doesn't it doesn't really hurt the chuck, but if you're going like until you can't move it anymore, you know, then it, it could potentially like strip out the the bit that you're in, if you're not completely 100% square on it, you know, it could damage the chuck itself. 117. That's a pretty toasty little bit there. It's, it's, it's very warm to touch. It's. <laughs> Off center. Off center. Hey, it let loose. I did about four. Okay. Didn't, I didn't tighten it very much. I went about like this. That's it. Okay. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, well, you you saw the result. Like tightening it and tightening it and tightening it, you ended up with, uh, as I was saying, tightening it and tightening it and tightening it. You ended up with maybe getting day two holes down. Uh, by not going crazy with it, you ended up getting like four, five, six of them done. I, I, right. I want to say it was six. I Yeah. This thing's a concrete monster, dude. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what you really need is a Ryobi. The Ryobi is the concrete king. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Howie, thank you for the Sprag Chuck. Thanks. Or a Sprag Clutch. Maybe make contact with the block before starting the drill spinning. Uh, yeah. You know what I want to do? Mm. The battery's Point. getting tired of being a battery, but uh, this is a 2.0. With my favorite. Oh, the battery's dying. Uh, what is this one? This one's also 2.0. This is new too. This came, <laughs> this came with my installation driver. All right. That I want to take a little bit better care of. It needs to be up here. Yeah, buy it some flowers, some chocolates. Tell it how much you love it. Oh my God. I'm not going to talk about what just happened to it. All right. We got three bars on this one. Screw it. Uh, we also got three bars on this one. We got two bars on this one now. This battery's getting a lot of use. And the two point five. What? Are you using the two point five? Yeah, yeah. This is the two point right now. Let's see what it's got. Two point oh. So it's a lot slower, but you got to remember in harder concrete, this thing's hitting harder. So once you get into harder concrete, uh, this thing kind of starts speeding up mm -hmm. compared to the other drills, but it's still sure. slower. It's, it's it's less RPM. It's 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 a slower tool, <laughs> but it still gets the job done. It's it's a really nice drill. Uh, let's see what this does with the two point five in it. Howie, the question is, do you know what he went on his first date? <laughs> Yeah, not much difference. His right hand, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a it's a rotary hammer, so not much difference. No, no. The drill it definitely made a big difference. Yeah. Yes. Sir. I'm here for comic relief. I don't actually provide any useful information on this. <laughs> Is that a Milwaukee SDS bit? Asked Jamie. 
I don't believe so. I think it's, a, it's either Diablo or Hilti. Let me see. Made in Germany. It's in Milwaukee. Hilti. Yeah, good oh, call. Right. It's in Milwaukee. Um, I've got a healthy one just like it kicking around here somewhere. This one's in Milwaukee. Awesome. Yeah. Um, we'll do a practical test here. We'll take a, we'll take a two by four. Like, uh, let's get the vice. Go ahead. I've I've been keep the blister sisters. <laughs> it, I'm hearing myself again. Did you turn up the volume on your mic? No, I didn't touch it. Let's see here. He sleeps with the Makita in him, not next to him. <laughs> <laughs> how we, how is he? Uh, does it start off with I was thirty, <laughs> and we met at the family reunion? Excuse me. <laughs> this is a T forty, I believe. That T forty. Hey, big too loud. Day. Wants to know when you're going to do a. Uh, tool giveaway um he's probably not don't worry don't about it never thought about it um i've never i don't mean this in any way like i don't mean this in any negative way to anybody at he's all. talking about me right now or or anybody <laughs> at all. um what, what do the cool kids call it Clout, what, whatever i I didn't tell any family and friends that I had a YouTube channel until I hit a thousand. Um, I, I, I don't believe in giveaways for subs. Um, I don't believe in buying. I, I want you guys to be here. If you want to be here, if you think the content's useful for you guys, um, I don't mind doing a giveaway. It's just never crossed my mind. I might do one. Um, we'll, we'll do something. Uh, I make, I make a hundred bucks a month on YouTube. Uh, my, my retention and things like that is not godlike like Roberts is. I mean, he's, you're, you're doing very well, sir. Um, I, I'm going to, just... I, I use my YouTube money to buy tools like this. This was, this kit was 229. That battery was 70. Uh, this was, uh, 20. And then the, the other thing was something else. And that was almost $400 today for this video for you guys. So you can see me push these tools to the limits. You can find out if you might want to pick these up. Uh, I'll let you know right now though. Um, I would take these to the field and I would feel confident enough to only have these with me to get whatever I need to get done, done. I like it. Uh, uh, Sai, 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 welcome. We're glad to have you. Um, Joshua Wilson says tools and tactics for president. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what this guy, this is on speed too. Yeah. He's going to need a lot more YouTube money, but uh, <laughs> Hey, here's something funny. I did the heart. Of course that's in hammer drill. Cause I'm a I did the heart hammer drill testing on YouTube yesterday. It gave me like a, uh, I, I got like three or 4,000 views, which is really good. I put the same video on TikTok at two o'clock this afternoon. Sixty thousand or something stupid. A hundred and thirty-four thousand. <laughs> That's crazy. And dude. and it's so it's over five hundred followers on look, on TikTok. Look at that! It spins that. Yeah. So I mean, TikTok is the home for heart. It's quite a bit of torque. Yeah, it's a it's a super. Work. Oh, thank you, Sai Sai. Uh, Sai Sai with a nine dollar super or ten dollar super sticker, nine ninety nine. Oh, uh, thank says you very that's much. for your kid. Well, thank you very much. He appreciates that. We all appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, you thank would you very much. That was very take kind. those to the hilt. 
well to the field yeah i'm not even gonna look at the TikTok. he froze again i did not freeze i just went out of frame right <laughs> no who knows no, you're fine look th dude, this thing's impressive it really is imagine I mean, tool that's, that's testing the old office i think we've got a giant tool oh <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it alone. Man, it just spins it. I mean, we can start a fire. What's a T40 bit? This thing has, and that's in speed too. Um, this oh, you can smell it. it smells nice. Uh, <laughs> man, this thing's got a lot of power. It really does. Um. For anyone tuning in right now, LGB. this is a uh, Timberlock, six inches in high speed with two bars on a 2.5 high output. Love it. And, oh, it bogged down a little bit, and I think it came out the side. Uh, well, we hit the vice, so it's done, but uh, we kind of hit the bar on the vice, which is fine. But uh, yeah, it wow. did it, and it started pushing up the vice. Like it pushed it out of the the hold. Um, yeah, it did, man, this thing, this thing is really nice. It's really, really capable. We're yeah, we're not talking about politics. You're not what? We're not talking about politics. Yeah, no politics. I, it was my fault, uh, in a way, for responding. Oh. That's my fault. Okay. Hey, you know what I got? I got one of my favorite <laughs> bits, dude. I got one of my most popular 1.5 oh, million spider. views, I think. The spider. And we had we had this same drill with a freaking power stack. Just sink this thing into a 4x4 four four in high speed in like two freaking seconds. Mm -hmm. And um, then I broke the chuck off of the drill in the next <laughs> video. And uh, the new one that I got wasn't as good, but um, let's see what this drill can do with two bars with this spider. Because if you don't know, these flutes are like razors. Um, I put a glove on just and and pulled, which is really stupid. But I wanted to show you how sharp it was to show you it cut the glove. It went through the glove and tore my fingers up. But um, yeah, the flutes on these are super sharp, so it just tears the wood. Uh, versus, you know, a, a tip like this. And then you got a lot of surface area where you're just kind of beating the wood to death. This thing cuts as it goes. So these things cut really, really fast. Um, if you hit a nail with them, they are trash instantly. But uh, Ricky, how did you get the M3 or M12 Gen 3 impact driver for 100 bucks? Was that a go. tool hack? Oh, probably. Yeah, you, you uh, the free battery maybe or something. Here we mm -hmm. go. We might try again with a newer bit. Oh, Actually, home depot online. All right. I'll have to check it out. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. Ricky, I, I do deal videos all the time. I'm on, I'm on Home Depot's website every day. I, I just hadn't seen that. I'll I'll uh I'll have to I'll have to look. But thanks for letting me know. <laughs> uh, beating the wood to death. Sicko. Beating the wood to death. <laughs> oh, those bars are super close. The more he uses it, the less wood he's got. <laughs> Story of every marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. With one two o eight battery. We'll, we'll throw the four on it if this fails. I think it will. Here we go. Oh man, that's crazy. Because this thing doesn't even have. It only has two bars. <laughs> Dang, dude, that's impressive. He's trans tool. 
This, this thing is really I almost <laughs> shot the vice into my stomach. Um, th that thing's really impressive, dude. It really is. You yeah, should get you one, man. You would like it. Uh, I, I, as I have said time and again, I am not a big 12 volt tool user. But uh, it this feels good might... in the hand, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, I know things that feel good in the hand, and I enjoy using those things. Here's a fourth. But now, I also enjoy using dude, other people. We were thinking <laughs> of use this thing. It's 222 degrees, 220 now, but I saw 222. 122. 122, sorry. Uh, 122. 124, there you go. Yeah. Wait, are you, are you guys talking about the Gen 3? I almost died. M12 still? At 99 almost, bucks? Because I have... I, I'm going died. on Home Depot right now. Oh, it almost did it, man. Is it down there? No. It, wow. it, it's, it's really impressive. It really is. I, I bet you if I charge this sucker... We could probably make it. JWC Tech, that's impressive. Eighty bucks. Dang it! Now I gotta look. M twelve. I I wonder if that's better than this older Milwaukee. Let's go in the middle here. I knew that was going to happen. We're just going to go with it. We couldn't do it. We tried. So, Bear Tool, I'm seeing it for 139. <laughs> 199 with two batteries. <laughs> I got wood chips all over this laptop. Let me see. No free battery with it either. Can't hack it. I'm looking. Hey, if you got the link, hit me up on Instagram with it. It's Tools with Souls on Instagram. Hey, how long has that super sticker been up there for? We got to get rid of that. Uh, since uh, I pointed out that size I gave oh, you $10 goodness. for your kid. Where is it? How do I get it off of here? Thank you. You just click another comment and then click that uh -huh. same comment again. I did it. That tool deals has a short. I'll, I'll have to check it out too loud. Okay. Uh, it's a hundred bucks. I, I'd be willing to invest a hundred bucks. Actually, I might just do the two twenty nine for the the tool tool kit. But shit. dude, this thing looks oh, like I've had it for a long time already. It's like, <laughs> well, you did throw it several times, and I mean it. It probably works better now. Yeah, I, I mean, after you guys told me that you had to break in tools and to get the best performance and I I showed that was not the case. <laughs> <laughs> I I really really like this one a lot. I really really like this one. Um I don't really care Thanks, for JW. it. I will show you the self tapping mode very quickly. I don't use the self tapping mode. I use my I use my finger. I let go when you're, you're the man. Tight. I appreciate it. I got the link and thank you guys. You you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Please, settings. S settings, thank you. Uh, what are we doing here? You're about to use the vacuum on all that wood. No, I'm not. Oh, That's a tomorrow you, job. That's a job well, for a Friday. You just like having the wood on you. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Getting the lay, wood laid to you. Let's just use this two point. Smacked in the face with whip. 
All right, let's try it out. We're going to go to the uh, little fancy Self -tapper. screw icon there. And I'm just going to leave my trigger pulled. Let's see what happens. This should sink it, no trouble. I'll tell you okay. what, if you want to upset people, have a have a tool that looks like it's in self-tapping mode even when it's not and they'll all lose their mind <laughs> <laughs> damn oh that was perfect that was actually the best one i've ever seen okay no no joke like look, look at this so so the flex just stops like it's it stops like abruptly like it yeah it just it just stops which is cool <laughs> No, I had it on small sub tapper. That's my bad. All right, let's try it again. This thing's going to be hot. I'm afraid to touch it. Okay, here we go. Now it didn't even stop. Not even as good. Try it again. It may not have helped the catch. The flex didn't even stop. I'm going to put it back in small again. Let's see. Oh, thanks, Joe. No, dude, that's a fail. What bit adapter is that? Is that that? Um, is that cleanable one? No, no, this is this is Dewalt, and you can clean okay. these. So, if you have if you have the other one, which is in a drill here somewhere, you're, you're standing ones you can't clean, but this one this one has a little uh, slider, and then you push that up and you clean it off, and yeah, these are awesome. And Josh, Josh, the link that was sent to me is to the Deal Team 6 Facebook group. If you're in that Deal Team 6 Facebook group and it's posted there, what I'll do is I'll go into it. I don't even get on Facebook very often, but I'll go into the, uh, the Deal Team 6 Facebook group and I'll pin that just to make it easier for people. Okay, I don't think I've even ever used self tapper mode on this thing. Oh, it starts up slow. Goes faster. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's see what this one does. Let's get it all right there. Here we go. You can't even see it. No. Well, here we go. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that. We need a new stuff ever. New stuff ever. And by new, I mean slightly used. Here we go. Okay, so that stops like on the dot. This Milwaukee, this this new Gen 3, like just gently sent it home. Like I've never seen that before. Let's see if we can do it again. Ready? Dude, that is so cool. That's awesome. Bad it is bad. awesome. I've never seen that. So they actually did this right. Ooh. I've, I've never seen something that good. Ever. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever. Uh, let me see the three. Two. Sorry, get mixed up. Okay, here's... Here is the two. Now, see? That's the one. And... I did not like that. What the hell? There you guys go. It is now pinned to uh, the Deal Team 6 Facebook group. So it'll be uh, right at the top as you the group. So it even tries to stop. You saw that? Yes. You want to know if Gen 2 does the same thing? The the new the new Gen 3 here is very impressive. <laughs> you guys kill me. I just checked out my community post. Okay, so just stop that time. 
still over 40% say the truest sign of middle age is Bakita. Self-tapping mode. Yes, that's what he's using. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy good. It, it, it like stops and then just... This. This is my self-tapping mode. What? I'm just showing the people what my self-tapping mode is. Oh, this one stopped. It was working good. I don't know. We uh, switched batteries. It, it, dude, that was beautiful, though. The, it hit like three consistently in a row where it just stopped and then sent it very slowly. That was pretty nice. I gotta be honest, these new tools look really, really good. And yeah, I'm, really I am good. far from a Milwaukee fanboy, but dang. Where if I really going? enjoyed 12 volt tools, I'd probably jump all over it. <laughs> so when they told you to go yourself, you took it literally, Josh? Is that what you're telling us? You're like, I got self tapping mode myself. <laughs> <clears throat> the two rigid deal, drill deal for 99 bucks was uh, a sweet deal. I love the right angle drill. Oh my God. I love that thing too. Let's see what we got here. Never really use one, but now that I've got one, I don't know why I took so long to get it. Self-tapping mode is <laughs> no less flesh. <laughs> now man not even the makita can do it as good and that's like what you would know the makita for uh hold on what hold on um this is what i know the makita for uh -huh. yeah big old trash can right there trash can <laughs> i say that dude that is Jay like amazing jamie has been asking me to buy my uh by Makita's, and I'm like, ah, I can't. I don't believe in giving bad tools. Letting people take bad tools. Hey, did you guys see that I had the, uh, or I, I, the rigid high torque impact wrench with a four amp hour battery is 199 today. Comes with a charger too. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal deal. Let's see here. <sighs> Check this out. We got the Gen 3 M12. Check out this self tapping mode. This thing just perfect. Are you? Look at that auto stop and everything. It started up fast, slowed down a little bit, and then just sent it home. He's shooting a, a video right now. How disrespectful to those of us that are here watching his dumbass. <laughs> yes. I like that, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, only if you're 18 or over. You have to be over 18 to, to show self-tapping mode. <laughs> Yeah, for oh man, that's crazy! Did you see that? Like that's that's insane. It consistently yeah. like it look, it's like ah, and it's like oh, let me slow down. Check I've the never Gen seen two. Anything like that? Check the Gen two. I did. I've never used self tapping mode. It sucked. The Gen two sucked. Never use self tapping the, the, the mode. The flex wasn't that. as good. Um, the the wall does not have that setting. Now it does. It's something else. It doesn't have that. That's for small screws. Um, it was impressive. <laughs> yeah, I was. So I, I, I missed it. I scored that rigid subcompact three eighths impact wrench for eighty nine bucks. Barry tool, pretty much all I need. Um, dude, I I love the the little subcompact. I'll, I'll the more I use the subcompacts the harder it is for me to use uh, either 12 volt or full size tools. Cause th they do most of everything that I need. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you for saying nothing. 
Oh no, you're good. You're good. Um, I was just thinking this this is an excellent way to spend two hundred and twenty nine dollars. If you do what I didn't, you will get a uh, free two amp hour battery when you buy online. Yeah, if, if only we had watched that Tools with Souls guy. I, I, I pulled up to Home Depot and I was like, I shouldn't be here, but I walked in anyway and bought it. I yes, Alex. Yes. Yeah. Love the Ariat. Ariat Ariat? Oh hat. Yeah. yeah. The, this hat's awesome. I got I actually bought three of these. That's why you always see me in this hat, because I own three of them. I'll tell you which uh which company not to not to buy from but i they gave me so much free stuff. i've got like nike polo shirts from these dudes i've got like full button down shirts from them <laughs> i wouldn't trust these guys to with your life uh, i wouldn't trust them with my dog and I, it's not because i'm afraid they they kill the dog i'm I don't know why they have that much peanut butter hanging around. Um, <laughs> I got a free four amp hour max output today just for returning. To, yeah, you were saying that. You were saying that's awesome customer service. And if like if they gave you a survey to do or whatever, please go in and just thank them for that level of customer service at Home Depot. If that means so much. First of all, the employee that you talk about they get like a nice little write up from the company and the, if they get so many of those write ups and i don't mean like write ups is negative but if they get so many of them they get like free drinks i know it sounds stupid but they can get free days off it's pretty cool you know it, it's it's they treat their people like as a company they think very highly of their people now it's a store level it's a different story cuz the you know uh, the, I think at the store level, you got a lot of bad management uh, at, in, in various locations. And I'm sure we can all share horror stories of, of walking in and, and seeing some of that sh stuff transpire. <laughs> um, but yeah. it, it's it, it's the, the, the company itself thinks very highly of their employees, even if the stores don't. I wish that... Uh, the store level would take that same approach and treat their customer or not their just their customers but their their actual employees like gold uh, i can tell you like I, I i go into home depot so much that they all know my name like they they know me um to the point where if they see me wandering around aimlessly they'll be they'll come over and they'll be like hey do i need to call your wife do you know where you are you know, because they know I have Alzheimer's. So, uh, like, the the people there are great, um, but the the management at some of those stores just they don't care. And I wish I wish that the the customers and the employees got the same level of uh, trust and respect from from the store level. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> man, what, what's your thought on the Gen 3, dude? Dude, that's, they were impressive. Like, the impact driver to me was the more impressive. Uh, just yeah. if I'm being honest with you. They, they, it just looked the most impressive. And that might be um, uh, perception is the last tool being seen or whatever. Yeah, uh, it's, I it's definitely more powerful. Yeah, I didn't like the uh, heat the heat transfer on the the hammer drill yeah but i think a lot of that was more to do with you going into metal yeah and the heat transfer from the metal uh going up into the tool i think that'll have a lot to do with it if you were going into wood and you were having those same heat issues uh, i would be more concerned uh, yeah. but power wise i think uh, I, I think they're comparable to you know, uh, some of what the subcompact tools are doing. Yeah. Um, uh, especially the lower end, like the lower end that, well, I can't say lower end Makita, but uh, lower end subcompacts, which that means Makita, 
Um, I, um, I, 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 I'm corrected on what I was saying before because I didn't think it was possible to make a comfortable drill after they are shoving the battery in the bottom of it. And, yeah. uh, man, it, it feels I mean, like a DeWalt. It feels like a DeWalt. This is pretty comfortable to me. Yeah. <laughs> But that that everyone's got oven mitts out there, so right. But the, I never had a pro to, to for me the the twelve volt tools just never had the power. I'm a power guy. I, yeah, I, th this thing feels like I hate to say a glove because it's such a. If it's, if it's you like the feel of those DeWalt's, but this thing here. When I grab this and and I grab this, it's it's slightly wide down here. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've got enough real estate and everything. I can I can touch my two fingers together. Yeah. When I grab the trigger without squeezing the trigger. Right. Um. Uh. I it's 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 very similar here. I can. It's just slightly bigger on the DeWalt in the right places. But there's not a battery in the bottom of this. So there's no excuse why this shouldn't be more comfortable. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, when when I grab this, this is terrible. This, my my knuckle I love hits it, the reverse button. Yeah. Um, when it's in reverse, my hand wants to turn it into Ford. Right. Naturally. And then it bumps right there. It rides really hard right there. Hmm. And uh, it's just not as comfortable. It still it still feels okay for an impact. The, they did a really good job on this. And it, it reminds me of this one here. At size height, that's exactly what you should be doing. And we thank you. I, I don't work for Home Depot. It's, Never it's very similar Depot. to this. This is a Gen 2 fuel driver 2402. Yeah. This is two two gens old. This is this is a very nice driver because it's got the this stays out. And I, I still really like to use this today for woodworking. You just pop that in there and it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. And it's just it's just really, really nice to use. I had to put my own belt clip on it because um after they kept falling out because these things, they do suck. Um, but the way that it feels, you got a lot of space behind here. And this, I only kept this because it was the only comfortable Milwaukee that I owned. And I got to tell you right now that uh, this <laughs> is more comfortable. And uh, they, they did everything right on this impact. Yeah. I, I, the, the impact is the more impressive i i want to see like as you use the 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 hammer drill uh more and more i want to see it tested out in wood yeah because I, I i mean it, to me and it's not a criticism but to me you were running the 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 the, the whole the whole saw. saw too fast like that's yeah. what i saw and that's uh, and and that it's, heat transfer. That's what I worry about. It's it's a weird feel for things here because if you don't keep your RPM up, the motor will almost time out. It's like a you can kind of feel where it's on the tip of cutting out, and yeah. you want to maintain a higher speed because there's something that goes on with as the drill gets faster, it allows more power, kind of thing. Um, so that's why, like, if you only give it like half the trigger while you're squeezing, it's only going to give you, let's just say so many Watts. And then the more you pull the trigger, the more Watts you get. So, um, you have to maintain your higher RPM. That way, when the drill does start to bog, you don't wind up losing speed and having to pull the trigger more. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like a, you're kind of battling it the whole time where you're kind of throttling that trigger as you're going. Yeah. Um, I probably could get a little bit slower, but not, not, not too much slower. Yeah. Well, the one thing, like when you're, so when you were doing it with an impact and you were using the step bit, which I, I think you should use a step bit out in the field instead of a hole saw, just oh. you. 
to me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, but when when you were using the step bit, uh, you were working it back and forth, right? You were going. Oh yeah, well, you were that's moving it more. I mean, I was I was forcing it. Yeah, no, I yeah. wasn't being nice with it at all. But that's exactly what you want to do. Uh, that's well, exactly yeah with the uh, hole saw. That's especially the hole saw, because you want to get the you want to get the teeth up, so the curve because that's what it's designed for, just like a saw blade on a table saw the curve is actually the cooling mechanism right right so that allows that that uh tool to breathe a little bit so it's not getting that heat transfer up i i see i i'm not criticizing you I, i'm just oh, like no, what, no. that's why i said the way you use it and the way i use it are two different like we you have two different styles of, of yeah. one. It's not not one is right no one is wrong no, it's just two different two, styles. Two electricians to uh, agree on something. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just like, yeah, we we don't use a we don't use a drill the same way. Yeah, like I use I use my left hand to go into the wood because that transfers the the torque into my body and I can brace my body, and then when I'm taking it out, I do it right handed. Uh, for the same effect, it's going to go into my body and I'm not going to move, so I'm not going to get hurt. Like my my joints aren't. I'm not putting any pressure on my joints. Yeah. But asking somebody that hasn't done that for years and, and years and years to do it, it's going to seem foreign. Now, when right. I do it on video, because I'm, I'm very aware of where I am on camera on video, I only use my left hand. But if I'm doing, <laughs> if I'm doing something out, out in the field or around the house or whatever, I switch oh, because I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to use my, my body to protect my body. No. Oh. But that's like that's a style thing that a lot of people just don't pick up on. They're like yeah. they don't they don't see it because like, I'm very left hand dominant. I can't do I can do hardly nothing with my right hand. But no, that is one thing that I've I trained. Am, yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> one thing I have trained. Yeah, I've trained my finger to do this with right. my right hand and hold on like how. There you go. <laughs> um, but with my left, uh, if you watch, like I'll finesse a tool quite a bit as I'm going down with the, with the left, <laughs> um, I'll finesse it quite yeah. a bit because it, it is more natural for me, but right hand and take the stuff out. It's just squeeze and go, but yeah, you know, it, it's to well, protect you. We got to get out of here. Yeah. It's been three hours. Yeah. Hey, appreciate everyone dropping by and hanging out. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for showing up and sticking around. We appreciate you. Love y'all. I hit him broadcast. We're know. just hanging out. It's not quitting. <laughs> it's not unusual. Have fun.